Audio is on, and video is on. Hello. Hi, friends. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the stream. Uh, I'm Dana Terrace, creator of the Owl House. I'm Luz Batista. I'm a storyboard artist on the Owl House. And I'm Spencer Wan. I was the animation supervisor on the Owl House. Who also now? Work. I work on Spider Verse. Oh, I own my own studio. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you said it was going to be tart, but it's actually pretty... It's because I put a bunch of sugar in it. Yeah. I thought I didn't have sugar. Are we, are we live? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is apple blood. Uh, Spencer made us our very own apple blood, and it's very delicious, but... Hmm. It's going by so fast. Okay, so the point of today's stream is to um, raise a bunch of money for a good cause. Uh, Rock the Vote is a wonderful organization that... Um, focuses on educating young voters about how everything works, registering young voters, and just helping people get involved, especially in like grassroots elections, which are extremely important. Um, if you want to learn more about the organization, we have a link under the Twitch page. And other than that, we're just going to talk about cartoons, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, I know a lot of fans are very creative themselves, and maybe we can give some advice on how to get into the animation industry. We all have very different paths. Even though we all went to the same school, we all had extremely different paths after school. Um, and uh, <laughs> I think that's something we can all talk about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we'll, we'll also take some questions from the chat when it's not blowing up with a million emojis. <laughs> I can't stop reading it. It's just, like, it's just going by so fast. Yeah. Um, and we have a wonderful moderator today, uh, the Heartless Hero. Thank you so much again for modding one of these charities. And uh, check out his website, themysteryofgravityfalls.com, for some sick Owl House merch and merch for other wonderful shows. Um, let's just, first of all, we've already raised a couple thousand dollars, which is incredible. Um, my. Uh, my uh, campaign thing. That was like, 3,000. Wait, wait, let me Sorry. reload. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think oh. <laughs> it's 4,200. OK, um, let's just get started. Uh, Spencer will be taking the first random request, and then we will be alternating between um, uh, taking random requests from any amount to the highest um, and we'll be doing that for as long as possible. So let me just go into the campaign manager. Oops, I have the script up. Please don't read. Spoilers. Um, more desktop spoilers. And the first request is um, from Ash V. Uh, can you just draw Ida being Ida? All right. All right. Let's do it! <laughs> um, I haven't drawn Ida in uh, like a year. Oh, wow. has it been that long? It really has been that long. Wow. Yeah. Um, and thank you for donating. And uh, we will be saving all of the drawings and posting them up afterwards to save everything. Um, Let's see. All right. OK, so you draw a line just like that. Can I make this thinner? Mm -hmm. Yes. Your size. <laughs> um, okay, I we're gonna we're gonna start interacting with you guys and, and checking out the chat. Yeah. But I do have a question for the fans. Um, one of my favorite memes of all time from Reddit, Lego Ida. Uh, I think I understand the origin of Lego Ida, but please, someone enlighten me or, or tell me if I'm wrong. Um, after Agony of a Witch, and spoilers ahead if you haven't seen the whole season, after Agony of a Witch, uh, and Ida gets captured by Lilith, is Lego Ida a reference to, hey, let go of Ida, and then it just spurred off from there? <laughs> yes. And there's a bit of a lag, so we have to wait to see your answers. I 
No. I no. can't tell. It's I like a bunch tell. of yeses and a bunch of noes. Bunch of yeses, bunch of noes. All right, that's clearly a discussion for the Reddit. Someone mm-hmm. please enlighten me in the future. I hope it's something nice um, because it's a really funny meme, and I think it's... I would love to have a Lego like, pita someday. Um, since we already raised so much money, let's just go ahead and spin the wheel and see what the hell happens. Yeah. What? Already? Right. Dude, yeah. Like, <laughs> I may have said that every thousand dollars we raise will spin the wheel. Um, I wasn't <laughs> expecting this much this soon, so let's go. And Luke, you're in the clear. You're in the clear? Yeah. Okay. Camera's up there. Oh, that makes a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate crossover, audience's choice. Okay, so in the chat, um, let's see what the few most popular crossovers you want to see us draw. And uh, we're gonna draw that. We might wait till towards the end of the stream to to draw that just because we want to get a couple requests in. Um, but yeah, let's see what are like the top two, top three most asked for crossovers. Maybe we'll make a poll on Twitter to help simplify that choice. And uh, yeah, let me erase that. And we will spin this again in, let's just say 20 minutes, since you guys already raised so much money. We gotta, we gotta catch up. I can't help but watch, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. My hands are so shaky. I know, it's so nerve wracking drawing in front of thousands of people. Five Don't thousand. tell me that. <laughs> See, I have no shame. I'm just gonna be control Z the entire time, and you're gonna see how many times I go over things over and over and over. Hey, man, we're all human. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> what? Um. Okay, so let's. Uh... Oh my god, I love the way you draw Eva. It's so pretty. Yeah, you understand the shape of her head really well. Okay, so. We're three per, uh, animation professionals. We, if you're interested on um, getting becoming, for uh, becoming a creative professional, um, ask some questions. Let's let's have a conversation. Let's do it. No, I'm not gonna listen to all. Oh my gosh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> but I'll be fine. Seeing a lot of hoop lingo. Hoop lingo is the coolest thing in the world. Like, <laughs> I use Duolingo to kind of brush up on my Russian and the fact that the official, uh, <laughs> the official Twitter account has been like playing along with this idea that Udi and the Duolingo owl are friends um, is really heartwarming and lovely. And yeah, it's just one of those weird expected things you don't expect to happen in a show. Um, or at any point ever. <sighs> but it's cool. Mm, okay, let me slow down the chat a little bit. When did you, from ICT, when uh, when did you realize you want to pursue animation? Currently a college kid pursuing physics, but my heart wants to get into animation storytelling. Fun, fun fact, I actually know a couple animation uh, professionals who started off in physics and then went to animation. Um, it's interesting. I don't know why that's a pattern, but it's a pattern. Hmm. Sorry, I've been, I've been talking, talking a lot. You go first. Oh, me? Um, I've always wanted to work in animation and art, um, but it wasn't until what freshman year my art teacher handed me a, a college brochure that showed, um, what was it? It was MICA, and then she gave me one for SVA, and I didn't know art colleges were a thing, and that I could be working in animation. I just know how to do art. Um, and I fixated on that, and here we are. Nice. Yeah. Year of high, school. high school. High school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but if you ask my old lady, she'd be like, "She is nine. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, that was Um, I, I've always loved cartoons. Um, if you see my old sketchbooks, they're just filled with like Powerpuff Girl drawings and. They are done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is beautiful. Wow. Perfect. So okay, someone else turn. Your turn, Liz. <laughs> um, I've always been into cartoons, but I don't think I made the conscious decision to get into animation until I was 16. 
Um, there's an audio echo. God damn it, I don't know why that keeps happening with my, it must be my house. I am so sorry for the audio echo, guys. Um, it might just be the way my room works. I recorded and tested it before I thought it sounded okay. Um, actually, one second, one second. Did that fix anything? Well, I can't tell. I, cannot <laughs> tell. I see a lot of yeses. Yes! Oh, it fixed! Oh, Beautiful. oh my god. Right. I, so much, I am a computer genius. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, now time to do the highest bidder um, request. Let's see who is the current highest bidder. Let me go over to the campaign. My iPad's over there. Oh. Oh, did you need it for drawing? Maybe, and just in case I need reference or something. I see. No, you should draw it from your head. Uh, because that's how it's going to make the most interesting result. Yes. Oh, no, no, Predict. No. Um, I like to work smarter, not harder. I'm realizing now I could have just had you hold a wine glass for me. <laughs> but I didn't, and I struggled with drawing a wine glass holding hand for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, I think... Where's that one? Nails are too short. Yeah, Ida has crazy nails. I love them. I don't think oh, I could I ever. I the nails. I won't. Oh, I think, oh. Co correct me if I'm wrong, our dear moderator, but I think the current highest bidder is uh, 325 by Ronius. Um, Umaru Chan sized loose. I do not know. I don't know what that is. I, I do not understand that reference. Sorry. But gremlin, gremlin loose. Um, maybe it just means small. Should I Google it for us? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Hang on, just want clarity. Yeah, I Google it. Okay. Let's see what cool. this is all about. Cool, cool, cool. Um, as we Google it, um, Spencer, how did you first get into animation? When did you decide? Uh, yeah, that one's interesting because it was because of you, if you remember. I used to work in a tire shop. We'd gone to school together, but I dropped out of college, and I was working a bunch of odd jobs, kind of wandering around and not really doing anything. And Dana convinced me to try to get into the animation industry. I mean, you were already in the animation department, so I was That's just true. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So what made you want to get into the <laughs> animation department? It's a very sweet story. but. Um, yeah. Uh, so I used to watch a lot of anime when I was a kid, <laughs> and every now and then I would see these little scenes pop up that were amazing, and I'd always be like, look where all this budget went. <laughs> and then I found out later that that like quote-unquote budget was just certain animators from Japan working on everything, and I realized that animation was the coolest thing in the world, so I decided to pursue it instead of going to college for illustration. Thank you. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. She's super small. Okay, so just like tiny loose on top of a big Ida owl beast. I'm thinking like yes. Totoro. Yes. Yeah. Totoro. <laughs> I wish you told me you had reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just made me draw an Ida from memory after a year. Oh, yeah, I actually, I, I even have. Model sheets and stuff, just in case. Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I moved your. Oh, you should be good. You should okay, be good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Is yeah. this? Is this? That yeah, that keyboard works. Amazing. We've got a very elaborate setup over here, guys. <laughs> All right, Dana. What are we doing next? Um. People want more Lego Ida. I support Lego Ida. I've seen a couple. Three D models of Lego Ida, and I want to three D print it someday. Mm -hmm. It'll be so cool. Is it like Ida is a Lego person? Yeah, it's it's just what it is. Lego. Like All right. Lego. I still need to figure out the joke. I thought I understood it, but so many people said no, so now I'm confused. <laughs> um, here is a question from 
facial junk. Uh, I got a question. How do you take care of your... Hmm, what was that? I haven't drawn the owl face in so long. Well, you can Google it now. We used to have to oh, go on our own. Oh, it's already yeah. out in the park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you take care of your wrist to avoid carpal tunnel and things like that? Ooh. Um, I do wrist exercises all the time. I actually don't do anything, but I know a lot of people like those compression gloves. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those things. They always look Oh, you look cool. I got carpal tunnel a couple years ago, and I had to do a bunch of stretches and sleep with a cat, like a, one of those like soft cushion thingies, and then I started developing a, like a, a stretching regimen after like a couple hours of work, just because I tend to hold the pen very tightly, and switching, I don't know if you guys know, there's, there are other options for weight comp pens, I use the classic pen, which is very thin, it's like a regular pen, and it's not like super grippy. I um, I noticed I started getting wrist pain because I also used to grip my pen super tight. So I started drawing exclusively in Sharpie for a year. Um, one, to help me learn how to make stronger decisions when I'm drawing. Um, and two, because it forced me to hold the pen super light because otherwise, you know, it's Sharpie. It's going to bleed over anything and, and spread. Um, I also do a bunch of, like... These stretches. I oh, yeah. do this all the time. You ever do this one? <laughs> oh, that's hard. It's ah. good. <laughs> Which one? That one? Yeah. You just push up. Oh, God. Ooh, oh, I, like I should that. probably do it oh. more because that hurts a lot. Stretch responsibly. Uh, there's probably diagrams online that show you how to do it better. I saw that on a poster when I worked at Powerhouse. Oh, nice. Should probably put those up at Disney when we eventually get back to Disney. We ever get back. <clears throat> Um, let's take a look. Oh, shit. Uh, I said we'd spin the wheel again. Did you? Yes, mm -hmm. let's do it, because, God, God, it's just so much money. We have to, we have to keep up. Do you just have the wheel open? Yes, I keep the wheel next to me at all times. <laughs> so we did the ultimate crossover. Um, put a reminder for myself. Oh, oh, it's different. Okay, your hockeys are so different. Oh, yeah, that's a clip thing. Um, zoom out is A, zoom in is Z. That's odd. Okay. No hotkeys. <laughs> already? Is it already? <laughs> well, Wait, are we dying your hair? Challenging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spencer does my hair a special color. All Secret right. Color. Secret color. I have no idea what it is. Um, but. All right. How are we going to do this? Well, hey, at least we're getting it out of the way. I'll go get that hair done. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we should wait till like an hour, like around uh, seven, just because it's going to smell. Mm. Oh, you want to wait? I think we should go we're going to wait till seven to make sure that it doesn't like smell. But it has been hit, so we're doing it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wait till excited about it. Oh, gosh. I don't think it's a little literal gremlin. I think it's just loose, cute, and small. Oh, I drew her like a little monster. Well, no, no, no. Do follow, follow your creative bliss. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, mute wow. emoji spam. Love it. Who's that man? Which man? That's a good question. I think someone <laughs> explained the man to me once in my last Twitch stream, and I totally forgot who it was. But he has a very good face. <laughs> Just saw a Why large... Huh? Oh, oh, I thought you were watching the stream. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, we are watching the stream. We've... No. We're on the stream. Um, what are Mr. and Mr. and Mrs. Blight's actual names? Uh, it's not Karen and Shad. Funny though. I um, guess it doesn't hurt. It's not actually a spoiler. Their names. I think this one's up to you. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, Mrs. Blight's first name is Odalia. So Odalia Blight. 
O-D-A-L-I-A. And uh, her husband's name is Alador. A-L-A-D-O-R. Yes, I don't wear them. And I have some names for some shadow profiles because we don't actually really, we haven't seen their face yet. Um. <laughs> Will we learn more about Gus in season two? Yeah, we're gonna learn about we're gonna learn more about like every character in season two. Um, if you search Owl Demon, it's just pictures of King. <laughs> he is the King. Of oh demons. my gosh. All right, here's a question. So from uh, Beirut, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but. So, I'm thinking about doing storyboarding once I leave college. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I've so uh, heard a lot that to improve my art, I need to keep drawing and practicing. Are there any other tips that you can give us about uh, how to improve drawing slash animation and, in your case, storyboarding? Um, let's see. General, general tips for animation and storyboarding. Well, yeah, drawing a lot. But it's also like, I don't know, I think about controlled learning a lot, like focused learning. Personally, I've always been a big fan of picking, uh, what's the term? Someone you want your work to look like. Yeah. Like a... Like an inspiration? Yeah, like an inspiration, you know? Yeah. Pick like an artist that you're inspired by and try to figure out the things about their work that you like. And you can sort of, from that point, start to like ingrain those principles into your own work and over time once you have enough different inspirations you'll eventually just have your own art style so yeah i think that's what i uh there was this old meme that went around deviantart back in the day wow, that... We're bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> um but it was just like a inspiration map and just collecting all your favorite artists smashing them together in <laughs> one little boxy format and uh it's so interesting for certain artists you could really see what they were kind of not stealing but what they were taking from other art and uh, putting into their own um who are some artists that you guys are super into uh my favorite animator is toshiyuki inoue who's uh he's japanese he's worked on basically everything if you've watched anime at all you've probably seen something that he animated and uh yeah i'm uh yeah. i'm an inoue stan <laughs> Um, Dana, or Luz. Oh, me? We got that. Um, Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, artists that I really liked? And yes. I love, uh, the only reason I started drawing was because of Nako Takuchi. Nako Takuchi? So the creator of Sailor Moon. She unfortunately imprinted on me in a way that I've never been able to let go. Unfortunately. Not unfortunately. She's amazing. Like, she is amazing, but it's just more like, I don't want to seem like I'm copying her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also was a big fan of Satoshi Kon's films growing up. Mm. Um, the the first like, what? If, besides, aside from Kiki's Delivery Service, I never really watched anime films. And one weekend, I got stuck watching, uh, Perfect Blue, Princess Mononoke, and Blood: The Last Vampire. Oh my and gosh, boy! That was a weekend. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's it was like a random anime weekend on this like movie channel for cable that used I don't think is around anymore. And I remember finding the anime channels, you know, before streaming, before all these websites were actually hosting anime. And you just had to find, you just, I remember discovering Tenshi Muyo for the first time, just randomly flicking through channels and being like, oh my god, this is beautiful. And also, I don't know why all these girls are obsessed with this one, like, kid. I hate her. That whole trope of like all the girls fighting over one boy is always. I, it was so weird because I always thought that ten, well, Tenchi was like fifteen, and I always thought like all the other girls around him were much older. But I guess they're kind of eighteen, or is Ryoko secretly a million years old? I forget. But in any case, that started me uh, looking into you know discovering Toonami and starting to watch other things and yeah. That Yu Yu Hakusho creator, him as well. Togoshi. Oh, I love those drawings. I love his drawings. I owe him a lot. 
You're a bitch. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done drawing. I don't want to draw anymore. Well, that's we unfortunate. Have three hours left. <laughs> 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 All right. It's my turn to draw, and I will draw your ultimate crossover. So uh, let's let's hit the uh, hit the chat with what crossover you want to see. I'll take the one that seems to be the most prevalent and get drawing ASAP. Hey, Dana, oh, can this you is speak super Spanish? Cute. Thank you. Uh, I I can only understand a few small phrases, so I probably won't be able to understand <laughs> anything in the chat. Oh no! One of the questions was if you spoke Spanish. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> we'll teach her one day these days, though. Yes, Luz is planning on teaching me. My mom's not gonna let that. Just and the whole family's gonna be like, "Yeah, Spanish." I mean, I took Spanish for three years, but the for some reason, the only language that ever stuck in my head was Russian. It's probably because I lived there for a short time. But okay, uh, I'm seeing Amphibia, She-Ra, Gravity Falls, uh, Avatar, um, DuckTales. Whoops. Kipo. Stranger Things. Kipo. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. So far, looking like um, I'm writing down. I'll put a poll up so that we can get an accurate presentation. Um, <laughs> Lego Ida. Not quite a crossover, but I do love it. Luce, that drawing is super cute. Oh, thank you. Aww. I thought you were done drawing. You're like still going. I, yeah, I'm, no one's <laughs> moved me, so I, 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 I okay. Busy. Let me. I, I do want to ink this later, though. I do want to ink this this person. I can have that back. Oh, at some point. Convenient. Yeah, man. Phibia, Shira, and Shira. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shira, Shira. Sorry for crossing over you right now. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm totally blocked from view, which means I can make any face I want and no one can see it. No, nope, not anymore. Ah. Ha ha! Ha ha! And pull length. Uh... Seven days. <laughs> <laughs> I will give this ten minutes. So you'd better hurry. <laughs> okay. The poll is up on my Twitter. Uh, I just took the three that looked like they were the most um, messaged. So uh, in ten minutes, I'll check back and I'll start drawing. Yeah, I can pick the. Oh wait, no, no. no. While, she, while she draws, we can pick the next question. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we have ten minutes, so pick the next question. We oh, can okay. we can uh, slow the thing down just by scrolling. So go for it. Here, you're in the middle. Um. Trying to find questions. Yeah. Yeah. This Apple blood stuff is software. So Wanna talk about that? Yeah. I'm in my first year of college studying 3D animation, but I also have an interest in working in 2D animation. You should speak up. Oh. I am in my first year of college studying 3D animation, but I have I also have an interest in working in 2D animation as a character designer. I was wondering what kind of software you would suggest I should learn. Thanks for answering my question. Creative Sunshine. Hi, Creative Sunshine. Oh, uh, let's switch, see, so that I can see. draw the crossover. I'll shift one here. Yeah, let's yeah. just do the. It's like beautiful. a gradient. Look how close my face is. You can see every wrinkle in my forehead. They're beautiful wrinkles. Do you move your eyebrows when you speak? Like, you know, when you. Open no, I only move my eyebrows when other people speak. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I caught it. <laughs> it's the wire. There's a wire there. Watch the wire. It's treacherous. Um, oh, we're answering the question. Okay, yeah. Um, what kind of software do you suggest I would learn? You Photoshop, right? For photo, like, I, I mean, feel like for, for, for basic... character, well, for character design. For, yeah, for character design. Oh, character pretty much design, everyone right? stuff. Pretty much everyone uses Photoshop. It's pretty standard. And yeah. then Disney has Harmony as well. 
for color work on characters? I would recommend Harmony, just because like, if you ever want to work with palettes, you can easily like, switch them. Yeah, Toon Boom Harmony. I mean, that's the program I animate in, so if you yeah, ever want to like cross over into animation, then... It and like a, a lot of these programs have crossover with each other, so a lot of the hotkeys are the same, and then you can mm -hmm. always change the hotkeys to be whatever you want. Like my harmony hotkeys are super different from what they gave me because I like what I like. Yeah. And that's kind of it. But as a character designer, I think you should worry on your on drawing instead of like the software itself. That stuff will, will come in yeah. time. Like wherever you work, if you have to work on something else. You'll pick it up. You end up jumping jobs all the time, and they all use different software, so the most important thing is to draw the most important thing, is to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Just draw. Oh. Did you say the moist? I did. Oh. I did say that. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep moving let's, on. Let's check the, wait, let's briefly oh. check the Twitter. Yeah. The, the Twitter. Oh, we've got that's Shiro. Neck and neck. Yeah, that's getting pretty close. Mm. Ooh, mm. live updates, mm. dang. I didn't All know right. Twitter could do that. It's too close to tell. Six minutes left. All right. Oh my god, the lag. Oh no, that's not lag. No, 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 I just see it afterwards. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. There's no, oop, there's no dancing. No dancing. No. Oh, well, that's <laughs> a dancing. Oh my gosh, six thousand dollars. Okay, we have to spin the wheel again. Already. I know. Wow, okay. that's wild. You I have amazing. the wheel. Oh. And I will put it right here where Precious, Lucy's drink is. So I just like go like this right and spin it as hard as I can. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Kiss. Reveal half of new season two character. <gasps> what does that mean? Half? Just half the face. Oh. I, don't, I don't know which half yet. Which half would you like? Cordy Bill. Do you need to control the computer for this? For what? For it's revealing funny. half of the face. I, no, I mean, I, I'm i going to draw it. Got it. Oh, So I'll, I'll draw that as we're waiting for the crossover poll to end. Um, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. briefly, let me ask Lucas here. Sure. Because um, I have a couple. Which one? <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm partial to that, to that character. <laughs> okay, okay, I it's unanimous, no names. Um, Got a top half or side half? I feel like side? I feel like you lose a lot if you don't show the whole top, though, with that one. What, you, well, like this? Or like or like this? Like I feel like, like That's true, because from like this, you... Because there's like some stuff going on up there that you like kind of want to get all of it in the picture. True, and there's some stuff under here that doesn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Don't worry. $7,000! How is this? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, okay, we need to catch up. We need to catch up. Okay. Um, can, 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 should I spin the wheel again? No. <laughs> give, give it a sec, because we have okay. the poll coming up, and we need to see the poll results. Okay. okay. Half of the season two character. So can you scoot your chair to the right a little bit? There, now I can put my whole head in frame. Oh my god. Hello, valued viewers. Wow. <laughs> Um, it's not the same hotkey for that, but it's okay. Would you like to take a look at the poll, Luce? Mm-hmm. We might. Oh, but you can't do that while Dan is drawing, by the way. Oh, no, yes, no, we can. That's can. the laptop. Oh, that these one we can. These two we can. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Still, still neck and neck. Actually, wow. now gravity I think falls I'm going to losing out, though. Yeah. I might draw an amphibia crossover anyway because it's a dope show. And yeah. Brawly's my buddy. I mean, we all love Brawly here. I know so and love all these shows. Um, okay, hairline. Wow. Wow. So many emojis. Do you want to slow it down? See if there's any questions. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'll have to do a scroll like that. Do not open a new tab. No. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh my god, you're right. My hands are shaking. Damn. Mm -hmm. There's nothing about being watched while you draw. It just. I mean, I don't know. I feel like uh, all of our figure drawing teachers used to just watch us draw. 
I really am thankful for um, Gaffney coming by. Hey, Dana, which Blythe twin is older? <sighs> Never really gave that much thought. Which one is that? <laughs> um, Ooh, I think I have Tom Shirley. Emma definitely acts like the older twin. Yeah. I'll say that much. Um, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I got so distracted by this drawing. Please I love don't that. watch me draw. Okay. My bad. All right. Um, you pick the next one. I picked the other one, mm -hmm. and and it I made think. Dana very upset. Oh. <laughs> I was like so totally upset, you guys. Yeah. I think I made his forehead super big. Sorry about that. Did you Sorry. just gender our mystery character, Dana? Uh, <laughs> I guess I did. Um, that but I will not. Intended to. I will not reveal his name. Do not reveal his name. Oh my god, I'm Trauma's character all the time. Come on. So many chats. <laughs> so many chats. <laughs> no, oh my god, no, this isn't who you think it is. Huh? Oh, nothing. I think they're uh, assuming this is Oh no, that's not that's not that's not who it is. Different. No, 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 no. They haven't been shown yet. <gasps> I don't know, Luz, you take a spin at it. <sighs> oh, that, one. that one's really good. Any tips from non-artistic roles in animation? Seems impossible to get experience without already having experience. Um, that is a tough one. Any non-artistic roles? I don't know, besides like being uh, in production? I think they're talking production. Yeah, that's... RPAs are so important to us. I don't know how we would get anything done. Oh, yeah. Our, like... like... Our Owl House production staff is so fucking awesome. I love her so Yeah, much. there's one in particular that without her, I don't know. <laughs> She's amazing. Um, I think uh, leadership roles, like for example, being able to tell people, hey, I need this, this work done, or I don't know, organization. I guess like in production, like what, what skills do you have for production? Organization like, is organization. super important. It, because other people are going to be constantly touching what you're touching, mm -hmm. so... Management. If your computer's a mess, no one can find anything. Yeah. Communication skills. Communication, communication skills. skills. Being able to clearly and effectively uh, communicate what mm -hmm. you need. And don't be a jerk. No. no. Remember that your artists are, are humans and they can only work so fast. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's like uh, uh, you're helping out production. You're moving things from point A to point B, making sure that the pipeline is seamless and that notes are being covered or things need to be shipped. Uh, there's so yeah. much you can do in animation that doesn't have to require art. I wish we had more lawyers in animation. <laughs> like, or... I'm, yeah, how do you even get a production job? Like, what channels? Because we know... See, that's what they're asking, right? Yeah. And honestly, since none of us have any experience in getting a production job, it no. might we might not be the best people to answer yeah, that. Yeah, I... How did they get their jobs? I never... Everyone seems to have such a long or different path. Yeah. If we find out, we'll be sure. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, uh, the crossover poll should be done. Let's see what it is. Let's see what the ultimate crossover is. <gasps> Gravity Falls. Gravity, Gravity Falls. Falls. I love it. Mm -hmm. I worked on Gravity Falls. Um, I did not. <laughs> I did not. I <laughs> watched it. was my first job, and I had... A wonderful experience. Um, I mean, I didn't work on it. Not, I, I didn't mean to say that I didn't love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone thought that. Or maybe everyone That's thought true. that. That's true. Oh. It's a shame. Oh, Infinity Train. Yeah, that would have been nice. Oh. Maybe I'll draw that on my own. Um, <laughs> uh, check the donor page also. Oh my goodness. At. Join cuts. You need to hit refresh. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Gravity Falls crossover. Mm, 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 mm. 
Probably two. I mean, that's... 7,569. That is beautiful. You guys are champions. We'll spin yeah. the wheel again in a couple in a couple minutes. Yeah. Let me just get my bearings. So did you rig the wheel to make it uh, read Spencer dies Dana hair, Dana's hair mystery color? Because I feel like I've seen it land on that three times every time you've tried it. I only sent that one video to show <laughs> that I set, I, I bought the wheel. Mm. But other than that, three times. It's crazy. Um, I mean, that's going to happen. Once it hits 7 p.m., we'll... Uh, Destroy Dana's hair. <laughs> I've dyed my hair so many times, so many colors. But never have I dyed Dana's hair. <laughs> I'm scared. Do you have gloves? I'm also excited. Yeah. Okay. We're going it's... full hot topic on this one. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh that form of the I, after after the stream and everything's been uh Everything, ugh, ugh, sorry, it's, I have a really hard time talking and doing at the same time. How about we talk? Yeah, we can talk. We can get to know each other. <laughs> um, Dana doesn't know that I'm going to give her coontails. Oh. Yeah. No. You remember that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, what do you think? Yes. Is that is that when we were in high school and it was like the stripes? Yeah. 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 Emo days. <laughs> Emo days. Emo days. Oh, oh hey, that looked like a thing. Yeah, you're only 19. You still have so much time. <laughs> There's no one on the chat can read what you're writing. I know, I know. But it's, <laughs> I think whoever wrote that will know. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys. Oh, how about that one? Everyone gets so out of shape about how old they are. No, you have enough time. Yeah, That's I know, I know professionals easy. that didn't, you know land an animation gig until their 30s, and mm -hmm. then they're, like, super awesome rock stars now. Yeah. Wasn't there that whole Twitter meme about that, too? Uh, I do not know what you're referring to. It was a long time ago, and I assume that everyone remembers the things that I remember. <laughs> um, we're using Clip Studio Paint to draw right now. Yes. It's cheaper, mm. and it has nicer brushes, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. I also love that it's not subscription-based. Unless you're on the iPad, but even then, you have a one-time buy. How come? Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Here about this one. Uh, I think all of us moved from the East Coast. Yeah. Um, Dana, where are you from? I am from Hamden slash New Haven, Connecticut. I say slash because we moved once. Um... But, yeah, I'm, I'm from Connecticut. Loose. Oh, I moved a lot. So I'm I'm from, I feel like I should say three places, which is Jersey, New York, and Atlanta. Um, I lived for a couple of years in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and then, which is near Atlanta, which is just easier to say. Um, I'm, from, I'm just an East Coast baby. Yeah. And I'm from Georgia. And it looks like the rest of this question is about getting into animation. I'm a recent grad for animation over here, and my professor said the only way to get into animation was to move to LA or New York. Do you have, do any of you have advice for moving, slash what are your thoughts on that statement? Uh, I don't think, not necessarily. Especially not now. Not now. Yeah. Like, COVID changed everything. It's in the changed sense of, everything. We could all work from home, or single, uh, we could work from, we can work remotely from anywhere. Yeah. Um, while yes, it, at the time before COVID, it was easier to get work by moving to a major city. That doesn't mean it's impossible to work from where you're at. There are so many different things you can do that is animation related from the comfort of your home. Like whether that's like advertising or working with like different production houses, um, freelancing with like independent animators because independent animation is a thing. Um, there are also other animation industries around the country. It's not just in Los yeah. Angeles. I mean, I worked in Texas for two years. Atlanta's booming right now. And also, like, we have a bunch of full-time artists on Owl House who are from the other side of the country or from mm -hmm. completely different countries. Like, it's completely possible to be, to be a full-time animator, a full-time storyboard artist um, from wherever you live. Uh, you just and... gotta get real good at what you do. <laughs> 
got to get good at what you do, and you, you do have to play the internet hustle, which yes. is a pain in the ass, but it's, it's an unnecessary evil it, for uh, our industry at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Just reminds me, I had some baby raccoons climbing over my porch a couple of weeks ago. Oh, and what did so you name cute. them? I didn't. I kept trying to get pictures of them, but it was too dark out. It was so cute. In the end, I just ended up watching them from the safety of my office window. I love the photo you sent me of of, of uh, the skunk sitting, just, just a little baby skunk, just perched. Oh my god! Just right in front of the door. <laughs> I opened my door once and there was just like a tiny skunk sitting, like waiting for me to give it food or something. I was terrified. Yeah. Remember that time that skunk chased me through the Disney parking lot? I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they travel through the sewers. They travel through the sewers. We saw. Yeah. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Oof, I am drawing so slow right now. Oh, hey, don't drawing. worry about yeah, it, because we're... the longer you draw, the longer I can go without having to draw. Yes. Um, no. Ah, who would King's Parallel be? In Gravity Falls? Yeah. <laughs> Bill. Oh, duh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I am a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> um... You pick the next one since I picked that one. Me? Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Have you ever made pixel art loose? Oh. <laughs> I need to uh, look <laughs> Is MS Paint count? Like drawing on MS Paint in 2002? Yes, absolutely. It counts. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it does. I. I was drawing my my trio of Sailor Scouts in pixel art. Now, is that your own trio? Or... Yes. Yes. Hell yes. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I almost said their names. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did. But, like I said. I tried making pixel art in high school, and my art teacher told me she hated it. <laughs> I, I also tried, um, but I had a friend who was so, so, so good at it. And uh, I ended up stopping because I felt embarrassed um, compared to her. But then I learned, hey, it's all cool. We're all just making, having fun and making art. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't try it again because I was teaching myself how to animate and I got distracted. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think anyone, anyone like close to our age has tried pixel art at least, at least once. Mm -hmm. It's a rite of passage. <laughs> Especially when you couldn't buy a tablet back then. Oh my, yeah, oh my god. You do it by mouse. I remember, remember drawing, mouse. Yeah. drawing on a mouse is probably why my. You were drawing a trackpad like Lucy's is doing right now? <sighs> that was too hard. That was that was impossible. Didn't Jeff Liu make a whole bunch of trackpad animations when we were in college? Oh my god, he did. <laughs> so good. So talented. Um, so many fans from... Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Hello, Brazil. I love it. Let's see. So. So. You picked the last one, didn't you? I Dang did. It. Dang it. <laughs> you get very quiet There's when so, you're reading. This. I I do get very quiet. I can read out loud, but then I would. But then you would read the entire chat out loud. Yeah, and then no one's gonna be happy. <sighs> Hi, Texas and Chicago, Mexico. How about we uh, yeah spin the thing one more time? Since oh wait, oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Rock the vote. Let's see where we're at right now. Well, I think we have to do a makeup spin. Oh, okay, right, so that sweet. works out. Yeah. Yeah, no, we are we are several spins behind. We are several spins behind. Oh, uh, man, I really hope it lands oh. on the secret. <laughs> oh, so now we head. are oh. more than several spins behind. We are many, many spins behind. Okay, let's just go. I'm going to spin it so hard. Ugh. 
<laughs> Wish I wore a dress for this. <laughs> Snippets from original pilot. Oh, oh, I love the pilot. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I will computer. put a pause on this drawing and I'll move over to the secret mystery uh, incentive page. <sighs> um, the pilot, the original pilot, the unaired storyboard pilot, was in many ways very similar to the first episode, but there were a couple major differences. For one, See, this is correct. I just noticed that putting in water. For one, uh, Amity made an appearance in the pilot. Um, uh, Luce attempts to befriend her because Amity unwittingly or, or unknowingly stands up for her uh, in class. And as a thank you, Luce draws her a picture. But she got it. <laughs> I think the line specifically is, I got a paper cut while drawing it, so I just worked it into the picture. I think that is the exact line, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, every episode by heart, unfortunately. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of similarities with, like, Ida and Luce. Um, this was a slightly different scenario where uh, Luz tries to run away from Ida, and Ida's like, hold on, I know what you are. You're a customer. It's kind of similar to what we got now. Um, I think for a lot of the original boards, we just literally used those for the first episode. Like, this is exact. Um, what else? Uh, the Owl House looked a little differently. This, um, this background was drawn by... Uh, I believe you pronounce his name Leonard Weiss, one of our one of our freelancers. Amazing, incredible. Um, he helped us nail down some of the early concepts for the show. And uh, instead of being a living room, it was more of just like a foyer. Foyer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was it's a it's a beautiful drawing, and we took a lot of inspiration from his concept pieces and worked it into the actual house. This scene. Exactly the same. They just put my boards into the pilot. Um, uh, Lilith made an appearance in the pilot. She I about that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because she was like so early on. So yeah. For both her and him, maybe. When you when you're making a pilot for a show, especially a pilot that's not gonna be aired and it's just gonna be used for testing, um, because this was shown to like a limited amount of kids to see if kids were into it. Um, you kind of want to throw as much cool stuff as possible into that first episode, even if it's not the first episode you actually want to do. So I was just throwing in as many characters as, like, I thought would be interesting, Lilith being one of them. Uh, I think at this point, uh, she was, at the very, very beginning, she was actually the principal of Hexide instead of Bump. Uh, that was before we figured out where we wanted to go with the story and how we wanted the characters to develop. Um, it didn't quite work for the series, which is why we ended up changing it, but, uh, yeah, in an alternate universe, she's a pencil. Didn't she also turn into a... I will stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, the ending was a little different. Luce does, uh, the ending, Luce does get stuck and she has to find her way home. But uh, in rewriting the pilot, me and the, our season one story editor, uh, Rachel Vine, an amazing writer, uh, we thought it was more interesting if she made the conscious choice to stay and then, you know, had to deal with the consequences of that later. Um, but here's <laughs> just a very sweet moment um, of King checking himself out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the hug, the ending hug was a little different. I love that. That That's when I really fell in love with Ida. Yeah, Ida still didn't know what a hug was. Um, just slightly different. I think that got bumped, what, episode three? No, it's still in the first episode. Oh, right. She's like, what's it's going on? Yeah. It was just, like, it was just the reason why she's hugging her. It was yeah, like... I think the lines are exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. Um, same with King. Boy, <laughs> 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 And, uh, yeah, that's some snippets and some background info for the original pilot. Beautiful. <laughs> the rest 
is history. Oh, wait, is, oh. I mean, it's not history because we're still like writing the dang show. Um, yeah, I hope that was interesting. That was very interesting. I forget how like different pilots are mm. from like the the actual show. How long ago was that? Now I was still in Texas. Twenty seventeen. Hmm. Does so loose play Minecraft? Loose do, does loose play Minecraft? <laughs> this one does. <laughs> this one does. Yeah, I spent do, eight, huh? nine hours, eight or nine hours yesterday. It was my day off. You've been playing with Nick, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah. And we he had we built a well he built a giant cowboy. Not entirely surprising, but we shouldn't be talking about something that Anthony right. hates the chat. No, that was my that was my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if Minecraft is pretty fast, popular. Oh, I mean, we're talking about Nicholas. Yeah. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. No one here wants to hear about Nicholas. Oh, he's great. Yeah. <laughs> Gladly. Nick, if you're watching, hi. I don't think he is. I, don't think, <laughs> I think he's working. Oh, Boo. Good luck, buddy. Yeah. Don't you love people who work hard? I enjoy people who have passions. Mm. Oh, that's right. I drew Luce's leggings, but they can also be these dipper socks. Why? Why did the pilot go unaired, and why are do a lot of pilots? Why are a lot of pilots never shown to the public? It's it changes. Honestly, it changes for every studio. Cartoon Network uploads their pilots. Um, they have like a whole they have a whole system where you make a fully animated like. 11 minute pilot and then upload it to YouTube and, and see what uh, gets the most attention. Disney never really did that. Um, they like keeping everything top secret until the very last seconds and I can understand it but it's also a little frustrating because at least if you make a fully animated pilot and it goes up on YouTube, even if your show doesn't get greenlit, you have something to show for it. Um, studios that take the Disney Channel approach you know, it's within their legal right to not upload the pilot, but it's just kind of a bummer. If it doesn't go through, then you don't get to show it. And it's, it's even kind of a bummer if your show does get greenlit, because you don't get to show it. Um, maybe I'll get in trouble for what I just did. I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, it just depends on the studio. I'm going to answer it. Uh, question to Spencer. How do you become, how do you, how do you became so good animator? Any advice to get that stunning level of animation? How'd you become so great, Spencer? I practiced a whole bunch, and like I said before, I picked influences, was the word I was looking for. I picked influences, and I studied their work and took the parts that I thought would suit me best. Dude, you're insane with your studying. I remember in college you had like... I was not insane. Dana had over a hundred sketchbooks. No, I mean that, yeah, I mean I, that in like the best of ways. Like insane, like... Let's all great. argue on this I, you, You're just... You're doing... You, you, you studied like incredibly hard. Like you had... Um, I also never finished anything. You were always working though. Like uh, before uh, Sakuga... The, the, before, yeah, before that website you had... All the animators set into like the different folders and everything they worked on. Oh, yeah. And I remember trying to get that folder from you. I gave it to you. Time. No, I never ended up getting it. Really? No. I still have it. Took it. Years. I still have it. It's fine. The website's there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's true. But, oh, um, yeah, because you asked me for it and I was like, here's the website. Yeah, and I was like, well, <laughs> and I made my own username and now I can watch my own things. Yeah, but it was fun back then, editing all those videos and <laughs> <laughs> grabbing clips from them. That folder was huge. You, you were able it to tell huge. who animated what, and I remember being like, wait a minute, because I didn't have that skill set yet of like seeing who but was different. To a degree. Even then, uh, if it's flawless, I can't tell, but then you could always tell what studio it is, which, which episode. If it's flawless, then it's like one of 12 people. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know their names, but I probably admire you. I'm terrible with names, but I'm oh, good. Oh, sorry. Like, I messed with the mouse. Work. I keep grabbing the mouse. Um, Dana, we're going to pick up the mouse and move it really quick. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I drew a big slash to your draw. Oh! Whoa! Wine, 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 wine. <laughs> it's not wine. It just looks like wine. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to put that over there. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> it's... it's 
It's ooh. What? Um, so the I recipe did. for apple blood. I actually made two different apple bloods because Dana and Liz both like vodka. I used an apple flavored vodka, cranberry juice, um, bitters, brown sugar because it came out way too tart, <laughs> and a slice of apple. Delicious. Yeah, and mine is the same thing but with whiskey instead of vodka. 21 and over. 21 and over. <laughs> I'm like 47 years old now. Oh, you... Sorry, sorry. Stop grabbing the mouse! <laughs> what did you knock over? I knocked over the, the, the charger. It's all good. I'm not drunk. We're not. 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 Nobody is drunk. This is like pretty mild stuff. It's tasty. It's incredibly, yeah. It's very tart. Yeah. I've done, like I've done better juice. drinks before. Um, I'm almost done with this, and then we can move on to the next request, which I... Believe I love all the Spanish in the in the the chat. Uh, oh my god, I did see the creepy hootie mod for Minecraft and I <gasps> So amazing. Whoa. Whoever drew that or drew that, whoever made that <laughs> incredible. That was really great. What a, what a feat. I what a I nightmare. might install it just because like what a nightmare. You might install it? You'll install it. Maybe. I'm not gonna give a yes or no. How it's just, it's just how very boring it is. I like to be a little private. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm almost like we're gonna install it though. That's mm. that was really, really cool. Yeah, I remember um Alex is the one who texted it to me. Did you see this? I was very, very happy to see it. It makes me wonder if like if I go into a somewhere I can't get out of, would it if I follow him back, would he leave me out? That's a good question. Right? Like, because huh. I found this big mine shaft. Ugh. And I, I kept dying. We shouldn't be talking about this. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about whatever. Uh, Minecraft. I picked the last question. You picked the like, last question? I feel questions? like you should be picking. Okay. Let's keep going down. Hmm. Oh. What? That one? Um, oh, that's probably fine. Yeah. What is it? What do you see? What are the names of Basha's lackeys? We know Skara, but what about the others? Uh, Skara, yeah, there's Skara, um, and then there's the green-haired girl, we, um, her kind of, like, crew name is Amelia slash green-haired girl, because it's different on different incidental sheets, and one day someone from production just kind of named everyone at Ramden. Um, some of the names stuck, some of them didn't, so, didn't, so she doesn't have a uh, specific name. And then uh, the healer girl is Kat. Her design is yes. loosely based off of one of our board artists, uh, Kat Harmon. Was Amelia's as well? Um, no, those, those designs were made at the very, like, almost in um, development, because mm -hmm. I had just, uh, I was, you know, they were buddies and co-workers, and I was just trying to figure out designs, and I asked, like, oh, can I do this? And yeah. Uh, Bo's not part of her lackey group, but the other healer girl is Bo. Um, am I missing anyone? We know Bosch. I actually have a picture of it. You have a picture of it? I think that's it. I think that's is all it? of them, actually. At least the ones on the bridge beat. Man, you were so prepared. I was. I, I worry. <laughs> All I brought was alcohol and hair dye, and Luce brought the entire Owl House development. <laughs> I, ha I have anything. I, I, love I have like almost every file on this freaking computer, which is probably why I'm so slow. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, uh, are you done? I'm done. It's Albert. Wait, I'm... <laughs> wow, that was an attractive laugh. <laughs> um, well, did you all land jobs straight out of college in the industry or did you have to take some time i feel like this was partially answered but i'll i'll start over i did not land a job i dropped out and i worked odd jobs for about a year i i did get a job almost straight out of college. I interned for Jib Jab, making e-cards for a few months, and then I became a storyboard revisionist on Gravity Falls. But 
after Gravity Falls ended and before my next gig, there was about almost, there was about a year where I couldn't find full-time work and it was just bouncing around. Um, what about you? I graduated with a job, but um, 2016 to 2017 was a really hard year for me. Chris and I worked at the same studio first. We did. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's... Animation domination high death. <laughs> that was one of those things that like, oh, I graduated and you had dropped out and I met you there. I was like, oh, small world. <laughs> Already? Yes. yes. I ran out of drink. What am I drawing? Uh, we have a random request next. Random so request. we will take a random request. Whoopsie. Let me just bring that up. How old do witches live to be? Yes. Uh, let me answer that as I find a random request. Um, witches, witches and humans generally have kind of the same lifespan. There are some uh, demons and witches on the Boiling Isles who find ways to live longer. Um, I know there's a joke where <laughs> uh, Bump is with the basilisk and he's like, oh, only 300 more years until retirement. Um, just kind of meant to be a joke, not taken literally, but, uh, yeah, generally it's, it's around the same time unless they've figured out some kind of magical thing to extend their life. Um, random requests. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> this might be a lot, but tell me, tell me what you think, Spencer. Lucy King getting the Elric Brothers to loose trying on his Ed's, Ed's jacket. jacket and Alan Gushing. That it took me a second for the El Elric Brothers. Ah. Yeah, Al Al's suit is really so. Basically, uh, Luce meeting the Elric brothers. Um, do you think he could do that, or or, or at least jacket. at least part of it? Yeah. Which ones are the Elric brothers? Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's not part of the show. No, I, I thought the same thing. I thought I thought it was like Edric spelled wrong, and I was like, oh no, Elric brothers. Oh, I never put that Full together. Yeah. I could draw Lucy and Ed's jacket. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. Draw, yeah, draw Lucy and Ed. And I'll draw Ed in Lucy's clothes. <laughs> those... those sh uh, you do you, man. I'm just going to do it all. Yeah, I'll do it. I won't be able to edit Lucy's clothes. It's going to be a crop top shirt. This is my <laughs> With a little bitty boy. It would definitely... Yeah, his his I mean his jacket is like canonically too big for him, so it would be way too big for her. I love that jacket. They always remove it from the show. They're like, how long before we can take Ed's jacket out of the equation? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't get why, because when his jacket is on, you don't have to draw that that crazy metal arm. Yeah. So they're Let's like, let's make it harder. Guess I'm drawing the head first. This is how we decided to approach this. <laughs> <sighs> It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh man, I'm Sorry, so excited to see where we're at right now. Yes. Oh no. Oh. Okay. I got kicked out of my charity management thing. Did you? Yeah, it's fine. I'm back in. I think it's probably just a timeout thing. Woo! We're almost at nine thousand. Wow. Nine thousand dollars to save democracy and and help young voters get registered. Also, if you are of age and you're American. Uh, go get registered. Check your registration. Tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Participating in democracy allows you to brag and complain no matter what the results are. Yes. Um, it's true. If you don't participate, then you're uh, bragging and complaining without any sort of credit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll all make fun of you. <laughs> um, since we are at almost 9,000 and we're behind spins, let's give the wheel... Oh, I thought you meant me when you said spins. Oh, so like Spence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luce is 14, right? Luce is 14. Yes. She's too young for a quinceanera, my friends. At least right now. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we already did that. Snippets from the pile. Let me just erase that because we did that one. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't? No, I asked to go to Disney World. Did you enjoy Disney World? I did. I did. Great. Yeah. That's better than not enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I got <laughs> I got lost in the memory. I was like, oh no, but then we moved like two weeks later. I was like, oh no, oh. I hated moving. Um, down to Georgia, actually. 
Well, from... gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we never met down there, but I'm, I feel like we would have been better people if we met down there. You two are both great people. Whoops. I keep trying to press the button for brush size, but I keep not pressing the button for brush size. Right. I, Do you know which one it is? It. I thought it was those two. I thought it was those two as well. She changed it. Yeah, she changed them. Development drawings. <gasps> Yay! I so, love development drawings. Oh, should I? This is always over here, isn't it? Uh, never before. I'll, I'll, once you're done with the drawing, I'll go over there and do, sure? go through okay. them. Okay. Yeah, because there's, there's a bunch. Um, yeah, development, never before seen development drawings, um, of, you know, the first drawings of Luce, Ida, and King, first drawings of Amity, some of the first drawings of Bellos where his mask looked completely different, and, um, some exploratory doodles that I... I just had a lot of fun with. Um, and I'll get to that in a sec. Oh, draw yeah. faster. I haven't seen those since, since, since like 2015. Since we were living together. Yeah. Um, those were fun. Fun fact, uh, Luce is the namesake of Luce the character. We were living together when I went into development. Um, Luce the character came from all of our conversations about high school and like reading Sailor Moon. And all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And witchy stuff. <laughs> witchy stuff. <laughs> and so that does that answers one of the questions. She is an Afro Latina. I'm an Afro Latina. I'm Dominican, so Luce has a um, hood. So this this jacket has a hood with a hood. Double hood. Double hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great hand. Don't look at my hand. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a great hand. It's a Spencer's very good at drawing. No, you not. guys are both great at drawing. Oh, thank you. Don't look at my drawing. Um, nobody in this nobody in this stream look at my drawing. I love all these questions. Oh, this is a really this is a really good question, and I think this is something like we need to be more open about. <laughs> um rates. Rates when you first started <sighs> animation. Um what <sighs> what's considered good, when, what's considered bad. I was fortunate to <clears throat> land a union gig out of school, so my rate um, was pretty decent. We weren't. <laughs> <laughs> our, our beginnings were very, very, very humble. Liz, how much money did you make on your first job? Oh my god, okay, so we... And if, if you guys feel uncomfortable about this, don't no. feel pressured. Okay. No, 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 we yeah. should, this stuff should be on the table. Um, at the time, I was making 800 a week, which I thought was a lot, because coming from graduating and working, like, what, two to three jobs in college, being told 800 a week, I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. And then reality hit of, like, oh, I live in Los Angeles. Oh. Los, An Los Angeles is particularly expensive. Oh, I need a car. Oh, I have bills. Oh, I have a student loan. Oh. <laughs> and it was just, like, one after another, so our rates were really low at the beginning. Um, I don't know what I made weekly, but I do know I made $20 an hour. <laughs> yeah. uh, how much? Wait, how much did you make, Carolyn? I because we've never discussed this. Before. No, we never did. Actually, actually I should. I should. If I, I'm gonna. I need a phone. I need a calculator. Uh, here, let me bring up my calculator. Eight hundred divided by forty. It's actually not that hard. Though. It's not. It's actually like what twenty dollars an hour. It's like twenty dollars. Yeah, we got paid twenty dollars an hour. So we both I, got paid twenty dollars an hour. Well, calculator. At least. Yeah, I. Yeah, it was it was it was twenty dollars an hour. Um, even now, that's way too low. I think for the amount of work that it was that it asked for. Um, what people don't realize is animation is actually incredibly taxing on your body, and it takes a shit ton of time. So twenty dollars an hour wasn't worth it to me. Um, it got better over time, like up to thirty, forty an hour, um, and then I came up with a day rate. Uh, for my freelance stuff when I was first starting out, like, like 250 a day for eight hours worth of time because then that would cover my bills for the week. Um, I'm a, I don't know if you guys are freelancing, but it's good to... I, I really love reading the... What was it? Reading, like, working four days a week and then three days for your craft to, like, build up your business. Yeah. Um, and then just covering enough to, like, make it make ends meet for that week. I, like... 
being able to pay off my bills within the first two weeks of the month yeah. with the, the rates that you're making and then saving the other two, I feel like that's the most fair start. Um, I feel like when I was harder. when I was doing my best to um, pay off my student loans, I was taking at least one check a month and just throwing it at my student loans. Um, luckily, I was able Smart. to do that. And I was living... It was tough living for for those for a while, but like, it um, it was worth it to get those out of the way eventually. Um, my very very first job before Gravity Falls, um, my very first animation gig. Uh, I don't remember what I made hourly, but I think the total was, uh, three thousand, for three months. Um, but it was also an internship, and uh, I had a good experience. Isn't there a book that you recommended during one of our yeah, talks it was for freelancing? The, 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 uh, I'm going to look it up, actually. I'll be right back, friends. Yeah. Um, um, actually, no problem right here. <laughs> um, just because at the time, New York doesn't have a union, so it was a book that gave you uh, sample contracts and rates for illustrators, graphic designers, uh, etc. And I think that was a good starting off point you know everything's you know it's all art it's all interconnected see what other people charge for their time um we have a tendency to undercharge because we want the work but honestly they're going to pay for it they're going to pay for it um once we once we find the book we'll uh make a post about it later because uh if you are freelancing um it's it's just helpful to have a basis of how to think about this stuff. Yeah, there was there were some nice uh, threads on Twitter recently of like how to rate uh, like people putting up their rates, which I was very thankful for to see like what people in comics charge each other. Uh, yeah, seeing seeing the different industries and how they compare. Yeah. Does anyone remember what the rest of this request was? Because I'm like, uh, straw head. Oh yeah. That's super cute though. Oh my gosh. That is really cute. One of the arms. That's fun. Don't look at the thumb. Don't look at the thumb. <laughs> I don't remember how to draw it. I've never tried to draw a form an Alchemist character before. Uh, how do I move for the side? Can I just... K yeah. and V? But if you yeah. use V, you have to hit enter yeah, because it's smaller. Smaller, because I think Luce is probably shorter. Oh, no. She wouldn't be shorter. Well, Ed is canonically short, but yeah. Luce is also... But Luce is 14. Like, she's 14, so, you know. And she's a cartoon character. You know what? She's... Uh, and Ed's 15. Well, is he 14 when we start out? I forget. Um, um, make an educated guess. Hey, I don't know. I've got a phone. I can look up Ed. Okay. <laughs> we were both like... Um, here's a question that I, I paused on just because I think it's really... It's interesting and it's, it's something I, like every professional deals with. Um, how do you cope with people saying your work is bad? Uh, this person is saying that someone uh, read a script that they wrote and said it was trash. I'm so sorry someone said that to you. Um, and rude. that you should... Rude. Rude. Absolutely rude. And that you should pursue something more useful. Um, fun fact about Owl House, it's largely a spike project because something someone said something very similar to me. As well, um, I would get uh, put down for a lot of my story ideas and stuff. I would try to write like, "No, you're just the hand. You're just you're just the artist." And you know, being an artist is wonderful. But I also just genuinely enjoy writing. Um, and I was just discouraged um, until I said, "All right, fuck you. I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. And avoid you forever." Uh, worked out great. It worked out. <laughs> uh, but I guess to say, like, there will always be some jerk who's going to want to put down your work, and it's going to hurt. It's it's going to hurt, and the, it hurting is is sucks. But but if writing and drawing is something that you're extremely passionate about, then it can also become a place of comfort. Um, uh, spite is a good motivator for me, but it's not for everyone. It, it can it can be a very negative experience. Um, how do you cope? It takes balls to self-express yourself. 
at the end of the day. Like, it... it takes guts. It takes guts, yeah. Like, uh... You're always... Yeah, you're always going to find someone who say something negative. I think coming to terms with that, you're always going to get better. Like, th maybe this one's not the best, but the next one will be even better. And just because they don't like it, someone else might like it. Yeah, and... You can't please everybody. You can't, you can't please anyone. And, like, if someone's telling you specifically, like, using the words, this is trash, they're obviously not um, tr helping you or trying to even help you get better. I mean, like, if someone tells you, like, oh, writing isn't useful, expressing yourself, artistic uh, endeavors aren't useful, um, you can already just kind of, like, write that person's opinions off, like, okay, yeah. like, if you know in your heart of hearts that this... Uh, writing and drawing is important to you, then anyone who just says it's trash or isn't useful, you can just kind of put them on a shelf and forget about them. Um, so. I had a really nice professor in community college in English, and he was very uh, cautious about my career choices and kept saying, you really need an alternative. You really need to think of something extra because this, the arts are incredibly difficult. You're not going to make it. And it was one of those... Okay, I I hear you. Uh, thank you. I really want this. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> it's kind of like the it, it, accepting that what your cup of tea is might not be for someone else. And so a lot of the time, uh, I think especially with the arts, people don't know how to talk about it in the sense of they tell you it's stupid because they were probably told it was stupid. That's not like a a way of an easy way of living, which it isn't, but that's their, that's their life. I don't know. I think coming to terms with the fact that you make your own choices in your own life and that you do whatever you want. Personally, I've always just turned that rage into fuel. Like, Big fan of rage. Fuck you, I'm going to do it anyway sort of thing. Can I say that on this stream? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I made him too tall. No, too short. What did I make him? Whatever. I think he looks great. Mm -hmm. He's too short. His feet are going to go below Lucy's when I draw now. <laughs> well, good thing you can move around. Is there a lasso tool? There uh, is a lasso tool. It's, yeah, it's M. I already touched the button. <gasps> that's M. And then I, my then I just... And nope, then K. That's not, then K. Okay, I just have to reset Or B. B. Mm. Where do I want you, Ed? This is delicious. Um, what about here? Even as a professional, you have to deal with people hating your work, um, but you just kind of learn to roll with the punches, and at this point, you know, I got a lot of friends. Um, how do you respond to genuinely constructive criticism that you just disagree with? You just say I play like, with I, the idea. <laughs> I just say, like, I genuinely disagree with you, but I accept your constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you. I appreciate your thought. I've thought about it myself, mm -hmm. and I disagree. Um, that's kind of like the line you have to use a lot when collaborating with people, mm -hmm. um, and finding compromise is uh, It's tricky. Uh, what it's being in a team is about. Uh, yeah, like sometimes I'll take, like, there'll be criticism, and I'm like, fuck you, and I'm like, no, they're, they're completely right. <laughs> sometimes... And then just learning to distinguish what's true and what's not for you. That comes with practice. Like, I don't know how else to... Yeah, it just comes with, you know, talking to a lot of other artists and realizing, like, what's a personal opinion, what's genuinely constructive that you can use that helps you reach your personal goal, and what's just someone kind of being a jerk. Um, learning that difference uh, could be... Learning that difference is really useful and becomes very useful for like your mental health, just making sure that you're not like beaten down by every comment that comes at you. Yeah. I remember someone telling me I couldn't color when I was 15 and that was enraging me for the longest time. The next time they saw me, they didn't say that though. <laughs> oh my god, you're true. Yeah. Yeah. I only got the high right. <laughs>
I don't know if you've ever tried. No, to you use totally this. could. Wait, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> they, they can't hear you. No, they, I mean, they can't. They can't see what you're doing. <laughs> um. That's an interesting question. Um. For international races. Yes. Uh. Someone who lives in Japan, who can't afford American schools, but wants to work in the animation industry. Um, Word that pay rate in Japan is, is very low, and a lot of Japanese animators are underpaid. Um, any, Spencer, you know a lot about this. Yeah. Any, any uh, advice on how uh, someone from Japan or, or, or another country might uh, work for American studios? I know some things about this. I mean, I've worked in anime before. And yes, the rates are extremely low. Um, what I can tell you is that uh, the American animation industry is really interested in what Japanese animators are doing these days, so I think you might be a lot more valuable than you think you are in that regard. I think the best thing you could do if you wanted to work in the American animation industry would just be to try and pick up English or find someone who can translate into English for you, because I think that is really the only barrier stopping us from working with Japanese animators if they want to work with us. Yeah. Um, other than that, that's a tricky question, you know? It is. There's and so many is, factors involved. This is totally, like, unexplored waters. It's only in the past oh, like, uh, decade sorry. or Oh, so. sorry. Uh, I got a, um, people are asking for you to speak a little louder. Sorry. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> should I just repeat everything I just said? Yeah. I, I really think that, okay, so the American animation industry, like, as it is now, does not have that many animators working full-time in it anymore, but people are kind of starved for that sort of animation that Japanese animators are doing, and so, like, if you're a Japanese animator... You could be very valuable to American animation. You just basically need to break the language barrier. And I think that's really the only thing stopping it. Like, Takafumi Hori has, like, worked on Steven Universe. Like, he does a lot of work for American studios. I feel like American studios would be really open to hiring Japanese animators to do scenes for their stuff, especially scenes that need to be, like, special. Um, I think, the, the like, yeah, really the only thing stopping that is language. Um, I mean, I know it's like a big something stopping that, but yeah. if you can figure out that sort of thing, or if you can find like a translator to pair with, um, I don't think it would be as hard to get in as it seems. Well, there's also, there's also the worry of not being able to afford American schools. And, That's true. um, I personally think that American animation schools are <laughs> kind of bogus. <sighs> way overpriced for what they actually offer. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't want to get into drama. But uh, if if you can't afford uh, an American animation school, which tend to be very expensive, especially if you're thinking about Ringling, CalArts, SVA, the, it's very expensive. Debt is a very real and scary thing for some people, for a lot of people. Um, but there are a lot of uh, online courses that you can take that are, man, that I wish I knew existed or that were even offered when I was in high school. Schoolism's one. Um, uh, Rise Up Animation is not a online class, but it allows you to talk to industry professionals and just get your portfolio reviewed, which can be immensely helpful. Concept, um, concept Art Academy. Okay. Wait, say that loud. Concept, concept, concept Design Academy. Concept Design Academy. That's yeah. another good one. I've taught there. Oh yeah, Spencer taught there. I taught there, yeah. Yeah, and I think I took a figure drawing class there when I... They had some crazy people there, man. The guy who did like the final, or not final fantasy, the Fire Emblem concept art like taught a, an illustration. Whoa, really? Person. Yeah, <gasps> and I missed it. Uh. And I regret that to this day. <laughs> yeah, um, and there, once you start looking up those, is DigiPen one or am I making up a name? Um, in any case, once you start diving into what online schools uh exist and, and what they offer, you'll find that there's a lot of more affordable ways to get training and to learn about this stuff without having to pay. Oh my god, how much was I in debt? At least a hundred thou? Okay. Remember when I dropped out of college and it was like a really good decision? <laughs> 
Everyone has a different college experience. Yeah, that's true. Mine However, is very different from you guys. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, but I think everybody is. I think it's a personal question to the person, like, on whether or not that would work for you. We are getting that. Wait, there is a... Let me, let me recheck the charity thing we might have. Okay. You know what? I feel like that's fine. I feel like I fulfilled enough Maybe of this. I think that, that looks, looks good. Yeah, I think <laughs> My brain was like, do tones. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 9,200. We, um, we will spin the wheel again in a second. But first, I am going to take care of that uh, one incentive that we hit. Oh, right. 20 minutes ago. Yes. <laughs> and I believe it was to show off some development drawings. Yes. Uh, and then after we show off the development drawings, we will be taking the a request from the next highest donor. So um, we will ask for that in a second. All right. I'm going to be right back. Oh, sure. Yeah. Does anyone want any more apple blood? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll make you more apple blood. Dana's Thank barely touched her apple blood. I know. I'm, she's, 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 she's working. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm a sipper. I'm a sipper. Okay. <sighs> Development stuff. Luce, you <laughs> might have seen a lot of this. I did see a lot of this, I think. So cute. Yeah. Okay. Charity, um, NTO, background photo development. Let's take a look at the first page. Ha ha! Look at that. Um, oh, it's so cute. So when I was first developing the show, I wasn't making like these crazy finished uh, character designs because I just wanted to like figure out the characters first. Uh, this is, I think, one of the first drawings of Amity. Um, back then, kind of like how you saw in the pilot boards, um, uh, in the pilot boards, she had her ears covered, uh, and that, that's just what happened here. Uh, this was kind of like a crescent moon attempt at a necklace. Uh, but yeah, her final design ended up being pretty similar, honestly. Um, we have Ida in a bunch of really random, uh, like, human outfits, and I always wanted to get a lot of these in the show, but it was just a lot of design work. Um, I always liked this idea of her having like a winged backpack to keep going with the owl theme. Maybe that'll still end up in the show. Who knows? Um, yeah, she would just collect random stuff and be like, this is high fashion. And I kind of love that. I love, I love trash fashion. Um, I think I said in a, when Grom was coming out, like, I, I never understood fashion, so none of my characters do either. Um, when I was first coming up with just even the premise of the show, this was the first little doodle. Uh, this one, uh, this shape, uh, the, this is Bellows, and, and that shape, I think he had a different name back then, uh, but that shape was based off of a uh, medieval um, margin doodle in a medieval manuscript, manuscript wet. Uh, and I thought it was a really cool design, so I just kind of doodle that he ended up changing once we got actual character designers onto the show and um, did a much better job. <laughs> uh, Luce used to have slightly longer hair, but it covered her shoulders, which is where a lot of expression and movement and emotion was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't that as well. Yeah. yeah. I also, one thing I always wanted from a female protagonist was someone with like a pixie cut and short hair, because I always had pixie uh -huh. cuts and... Or I always wanted a pixie cut. I didn't actually get that haircut till later. Anyway, King's proportions were crazy. <laughs> the head is so big. That's what I remember the most. It's like a real skeletal head. Yeah. And just being really impressed by like how uh, how creepy it was. Yeah, King used to yeah. be a lot creepier. Um, but drawing hyper realistic skulls is a uh, really hard, especially when you have to turn it in motion. Um, and this was like, that was Ida. That was all just, that there's Ida's personality in a nutshell, just, hey. Um, I, yeah, just like an interaction, trying to figure out how Luke and King um, 
interact with each other. I think this was the first time I figured out, like, oh, what if Eda turned into this crazy beast? Um, there's more. I would do a lot of these beat boards just to be, like, before I even had um, episode ideas. This is how I would kind of figure out, like, what I might want to do. Oops, there we go. Um, Amity and, and or proto Amity and proto loose interacting, having some kind of argument. Uh, this is just a cool shot. Um, <laughs> this the original the original Good Morning Monster. Um, oh, I love that door. Like, oh, on yeah. the water. Yeah. I think I tried writing that scene, but I it didn't work with the structure and ended up taking too much time. But it, it is a fun visual that I love. Uh, Luce going about town, wearing a plague doctor mask kind of thing. <laughs> All these guys are just like from Hieronymus Bosch paintings. Um, first drawing of Hexide before it even had a name. Uh, <laughs> one of the first doodles of Willem. And uh, this this whole thing. The island, Ida being a badass. Um, I did a lot of these. And it's just to like to establish mood. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that before. You haven't? No. I was experimenting with like Amity hair and Amity designs, and this is like a look. This, she had a wildly different personality sure. when I drew this. Um, wildly different. Uh, the hair, I kind of like the hair though. It's, it's I love the hair. It's big. I like the hair. Um, <gasps> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a running gag of Ida constantly trying to kill and eat King, um, but it, it felt like a joke that got would get old very quickly. So, like I said, this is all just experimenting with um, personalities and relationships between the characters. Uh, Luce's first, oh yeah, <laughs> I was briefly obsessed with um, figure skating, so I just drew characters figure skating a lot. There's no real no point to it other than it was fun. Uh, Luce's first Grom outfit, I think I drew this in 2017. Wow. Yeah. He's so cute. Um, God, I even, like, what? Oh, there he is. Oh. What? Thank you. I was just going through old development drawings. Oh, I thought you drew that right now. I was like, get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> um, nope. Uh, that's it. Got that. Some cool beat boards. And um, some doodles. Dudes. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think our next drawing request will come from the highest donor, so let me just figure out who that is. I think it's your turn. I think it is my turn. Let's do Did it. Did you draw already? Oh, no, I was doing one of the incentives. Oh, mm -hmm. should we switch? Here. Let me see if I'm going to take your No, I can take the middle seat. Okay, okay. Musical chairs. Yeah. Well, you see, this seat is all about putting my face as close to the camera as possible, and I'm just not about it. It is very bright. See here, I can like swing both ways. <laughs> wow! Crickets. Crickets. Um, I didn't mean to say that. Roundtable video is five hundred dollars. Um, <clears throat> Ida cosplays as one of her favorite video game characters. If the Boiling Isles had access to our library of video games, yes, the Boiling Isles do have their own video games that they play on, like the crystal balls, or at least that's how I. Imagine it. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's see. What would Ida's favorite video game be? Also, thank you, Roundtable Vids. Oh my god, the birth of Lego Ida. Oh my gosh, wait. Well, really? Oh! oh. <laughs> that scene. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Taking an animation error and making it a meme. That's that's premium. That's yeah. premium stuff. Good job. <laughs> I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it now. Fuck. 
I, I explained it to people all wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, back to it. <laughs> uh, round table vids. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. You guys have been uh, supporting the show for a really, really long time. Um, I was gonna like move this further. Let's let's figure out actually, what what video game would Ida like? Minecraft. Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, Dark Souls. You can't. That's just, you just like, like Dark Souls. Dark Souls. I, I just like Dark Souls. Me. Ida's favorite video game. Something where you get to like screw other players over. Untitled Goose Game. Ida plays Fall Guys. Oh my god, I don't know that. It's okay. I'll explain it to you. Later. Who's how you're drawing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're drawing really Minecraft, Eda. <laughs> how would you do her hair? Uh, it would literally just end up being like. <laughs> right now, my care I'm playing as Elmo, um, which looks horrifying, but I like playing as Muppet characters. I was a girler for a while. Okay, so you know like Mario Party? Yeah. Yeah. So like, and you know like those platform games in Mario Party where you're trying to like push each other off and like screw each other over? Picture that, but with like 60 people. That's Fall Guys. Oh. It's a lot. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. Yeah, you what's, what's, so what's like a, like a, like an iconic video game character that you think she might enjoy? I think Liz is already drawing my. Oh, you deleted. Oh, it. Did. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just kidding around. It's okay. I'm sure. I, 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 I'm enjoying the, the fun from it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> an iconic. Thing. But I, I don't think Ida's. I, I don't think Ida would enjoy. Someone mentioned Bubsy. Do you think Ida plays Bubsy? Bubsy? <gasps> no, no, don't, don't, don't draw that. It's <laughs> scary. Okay. Um, everyone's saying Among Us, but I don't actually. Know. Yeah, I never heard of those either. You do? I don't. How many Bubsy? Guys, I'm sorry, we we're not we're not gamers. I am. I just explained Fall Guys to you. <laughs> Come on. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Um But I don't know what Bubs is. I am gonna run to the restroom though. Okay. 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 I'll be back. We'll figure it out by the time you get back. Okay. Oh Fall Guys. I've seen you guys drawing um Luce and Ida in well, this that's Among Us. Oh Among Us. Among <laughs> Us, sorry. I've seen you guys um, drawing Luce and Ida this way. Um, I don't quite understand what I'm looking at. Is that a spacesuit? I have seen that before, but I don't know what it is. Me neither. Wow, is it warm in here or what? <laughs> <laughs> actually, let me turn up the AC. Thanks, that was actually a, a, a serious request. <clears throat> and now I'm alone. No, you're not. You're never alone, because you have friends! Oh my god. <laughs> I was getting ready to reveal everything that happens in season two, but you just had to come back and spoil it. <laughs> Is the echo still a problem? Crap, I thought... A lot of people are saying no echo. Oh, thank god. Whew! Um, when Luce comes back, we will draw that video, video game, game request. Which we haven't decided yet. There's still much discussion. But let's figure, let's uh, check up on the... You know, playing video games, it's kind of really hard to picture. I think she would keep complaining that the uh, her controller was broken, no matter what she plays, like, playing. dumb, like, free-to-play mobile games. Oh my god! Yeah. She would totally get hooked on Candy Crush. Yeah, Candy Crush or like uh, maybe like Stardew Valley or something. Probably Candy Crush. Do people still play Candy Crush? I don't know. Do you guys still play Candy Crush? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one will answer me. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I'm seeing lots of no's. <laughs> nice. Which means Ida definitely plays Candy Crush. That, yeah, that means she absolutely plays Candy Crush. She's like, Candy Crush has characters, are they? No, it's just it's just a very addicting um, app. I think maybe she would play. I mean, Sims and Stardew Valley have a lot of crossover. It's just like building a virtual life. I feel like she would get. I feel like she could get obsessed I mean, with, that. with that. Who's compared to this concept? 
This is Luce's game. We are but mere <laughs> observers. <laughs> Um, but hey, uh, we're all nearing $10,000, which is crazy. You guys are oh, amazing. Really? We haven't even hit 7 p.m. Wow. And you know when we do hit 7 p.m.? I get my hair dyed. Yeah. All right. Oops, sorry. That was a little loud. Um, all right. Let's, let's give this thing another spin. Still catching up. Yeah, give it a whirl. <sighs> Making sure we erase stuff we've already done. Oh, I've already done this one. The half of a new season two character. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Oh, no worries. I'm going to start writing new ones on there. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope we hit surprise. It's really, it's really great. Yeah, I don't know what the surprise is. Technically, that's the cut Grom photo. Cut Grom photo? Yeah, there was one photo that was uh, cut and replaced for time. Um, and also, and also for mostly science. for time. <laughs> yeah, for science. Hi, this is back. We hey. still don't know what video game yeah. character. Yeah. I feel like Ada I would play a video something. game that Luce plays because Luce made her try it. That's a really good. That's that's very accurate. So Luce let's let's work backwards. Luce definitely plays RPGs. Luce definitely plays RPGs. I feel like what? Luce, what? Nothing. I'm just I'm just so drunk. Luce knows what to do. Okay. <laughs> uh, when we're done with this current highest uh, bidder request, we will um, we will see that Grom photo. I bet $80 that you're Googling Cloud Strike. God damn it! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, how are you? How the hell? I'm mad. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would totally be what those things would eat a play. Like, yeah, this is dumb. Be, these, right? these people look ridiculous if they're like, oh, I like his hair. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad we had this conversation. <laughs> By the way, the book that we were talking about earlier was the Graphic Arts Guide Handbook. The Graphic Arts Guide Handbook? Oh. Really? Thank you, Diego. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know why. I, what I, did you call it? A, a guild. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. The Graphic Artist's Guild Handbook. Pricing and Ethical Guidelines, 15th edition. Yes. And Sorry we will, uh, I'll make a post about that on Twitter after the stream so that you know what to look for. It's a very good book, yeah. helps freelancers, and uh, gives you some idea of how to uh, support yourself financially as you're becoming a professional artist. Also, a fun fact, all the Animation Guild rates are online, like which that. like for some reason I never realized when I wasn't in the Guild, so... Yeah, like, they're yeah. just You open can straight to... up just Google Animation Guild and look up what people are supposed to make in animation. Yeah. Yeah, seeing that, well, when I first started working in animation, being like, oh, oh, this, there's a difference. There's yeah, a difference. I that. Yeah. I'm not living that difference. <laughs> I mean, $20 an hour is better than the tire shop. But it's not what you're supposed to make. Yeah. Yeah. Because working in a tire shop is not as hard, except for on your abs. Did you have sick abs? And your abs? pants. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I got holes in my pants, like, week one. Um, stabbed tire wire through my... Thumb. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. And then I just broke it off and pulled it out and kept working. Oh, no, no, no. This <laughs> graphic. My boss yelled at me. Oh, for, no. for getting hurt? Yeah, because I wasn't wearing gloves because I forgot my gloves. Oh. Okay, you weren't wearing gloves. If you work in a tire shop, maybe wear gloves. gloves. Um, That's the takeaway for tonight. <laughs> yes. Well, I think we all work jobs outside of animation at some mm -hmm. point in our lives. I worked um, part time at a. Museum oh, okay. for a while, and my responsibilities ranged from like gift shop, uh, selling candy to like the local schools that were visiting, and working in the discovery room, which meant I, a uh, couple hours a week, I was responsible for taking care of the uh, little animal exhibits where they had like, you know, a tank for frogs and snakes, and um, it was fun. I really liked that job. I loved working in a museum. What was your favorite college memory? Hmm. How about the time Kirby bumped into you with an X-Acto knife in his backpack? Oh, you started bleeding <laughs> in the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> that was not Dana's favorite memory, but it's a memory. 
it, it, it is a <laughs> it is a vibrant memory. Yeah. Um, if if you uh, are carrying around an exacto knife, make sure it is properly uh, sheathed. Sheathed. <laughs> yes. Um, I got. I did get a scar from that. A favorite memory. Um, let me think. There's a lot. Mm. Oh, I know. That time we got drunk and showed each other our old DeviantArt accounts. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, I can talk at length about Dana's old DeviantArt account. No. Please don't. <laughs> Um, favorite memory. Um, I think I just have a lot of memories of, um, getting kicked out of the labs because it's late at night and then me and my, you know, small group of buddies would just kind of hang out by the East River or walk around the city and just, like, hang out outside. I used to hide in the stairwell to avoid getting kicked out. <laughs> really? Yeah, a lot of people did. Wait, which, the, the one that was connected to the library? Yeah. You, you would basically just kind of, like, circle around the security guard. So you lied to me when I came around with, like, papers and being like, are you guys staying overnight? Oh, yeah. <gasps> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I took my job seriously. I loved it. Um, I love that job. <laughs> what was your... It's not a cloud, you know. No, I know. Oh, oh I know. Let, it. let it be a secret. I, let it be I, a secret. I switched it last minute. Yes. Ida, Ida and the video. Good work. Thank you. Liz, what was one of your favorite college memories? Oh my god, I have so many. Um, shit, but my my favorite, favorite memories of college are a cluster of them. It's like Friday nights in the Lower East Side um, at Mark's Bar, uh, spe the speakeasy we went to every yeah. Friday. Um, it's gone now, thank god. Just for us. No. Um, <laughs> it, going there and I don't know. I feel like I made a lot of friendships every time I went there, like bond, like uh, bonding with you guys, or well, not me. No, I think you went there once. No, I didn't. I, I was we, too young. No, no, we didn't hang out. Yeah, we, we didn't yeah, hang out. I dropped I out before I was a drinking age. Yeah, you did come to my birthday party when I uh, had my first legal drink. Did I really? Yeah. Wow. You and Christian and Nick and you were there. Oh, wait, that was here in LA. Yeah, I turned 21 in Los Angeles. Yeah, oh, that's really cute. Okay. <laughs> Going to school in New York was stressful because everything was extremely expensive, and uh, the dorms at the time were, uh, well, the GW. I heard the GW. Mm, it's nasty. It was, it was nasty. When <laughs> it's it was gone there. now. It's gone now, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it was good. Um, here's a question. Uh, What's your idea of how clean a storyboard should be for characters and background? Um, depends on the show and depends on the animation studio that has to interpret your boards. Um, on for, for me, as long as, like, honestly, the characters are roughly in proportion to, like, they don't have to be perfect glam model, but as long as they're in proportion and you can fully understand what expression they're making and what their hands are doing. Um, that's pretty great. Uh, our <laughs> storyboard artists are really incredible. Um, that's also good advice for taking a photo. Fully in proportion. <laughs> understand the expression and like make sure you know what your hands are doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about the what the proportion part would mean. But yeah, the other part. Yeah. You no, it's it's great. You're so smart. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, and as long as you are able to make clear and, um, uh, uh, as long as you can make clear boards where you can understand where you are in the shot, what your characters are doing, um, you know, you, you don't have to illustrate a, the most beautiful drawing in the world, you just need to communicate, like, how this character is moving or emoting, and, you know, uh, like, that also goes for working in a way where you can make clear poses without having to completely animate everything because that's not your job. Um, it's his job. He's an animator. It's my job. <laughs> so back up. And also, there, there's, there's also... <laughs> Coming for you, guys. <laughs> there's also this interesting thing where um, 
if you're working with an overseas studio, like say wh uh, who we work with, these uh, studios in South Korea, Sugar Cube and uh, RDK, uh, we do have to give them a little more information because we're not there in person to like dis discuss things or answer questions very quickly. Um, however, if you are working with an in-house animation staff and you can just like pop downstairs or pop over to their area, it, it's a little... There's... Then you just draw scribbles on a napkin. Yeah, <laughs> and then you can just like yeah. walk them through it. Um, yeah. I remember that being a learning curve from like working at a studio, studios in which where the animators are right downstairs. You might need to speak up because oh, we're um, here. It was different uh, coming from like a smaller studio to Disney and uh, before I would storyboard, my animators were either in the same room or downstairs. So what was expected of me was different, except to like going over to uh, TV and having to work with overseas animators, you have to actually draw and model and be super clear with everything. Cause you, no one can come up to you and ask you, what the hell is this? <laughs> and be like, well, he's doing this. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, can't like act things out. Um, it's 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 a challenge, and um, oh, man, do I have opinions on production lines because they're all based off of like old sitcom production lines where like live action sitcom schedules where you only have to worry about a few sets and it's live action, so you can shoot things really quickly. And then they tried to put that in. And, oh God, I have opinions. Um, it's uh, stuck. Oh. Are you oh. talking to me? Uh, it's, oh, it's in Spanish. Ah! I think, wait, it's squirreled. Ah, that's <laughs> fine. Yeah. That's fine. My Spanish, reading in Spanish takes me a lot longer. I have to teach myself. Um. <laughs> Is there going to be a next comic? Yeah, someone's asking about Comic-Con. I would love to do another Comic-Con panel and, like, see people or whatever the proper quarantine version of that is, but the reality is we just don't know what the future holds right now. Um, this does... gathering brought to you by three people who never leave their houses. Yes. yes we, <laughs> <laughs> we are all in the same quarantine bubble. Yes. We, mm -hmm. made, we made sure that of that. Um, yeah. If you're hanging out, six feet of distance and masks. I brought my mask just in case you guys were well worn. No, it's good to be prepared. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, does Boiling Isles have a weird, horrifying version of Halloween? Um, there aren't, there aren't like holiday parallels, but I feel like any given day on the Boiling Isles is a horrifying version of Halloween, just like naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just realized what he was wearing underneath his clothes. Who dresses like this? Oh that my god. Huh? Luce, that is amazing. <laughs> that is... That's exactly who she would be. <laughs> yeah, I think she would really appreciate his, uh... His outfit. His sense of fashion. His je ne sais quoi. <laughs> 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 also, just how moody he is. He obviously doesn't do hugs. Um, people figured it out. <laughs> yeah, well, at that point, those those shoulder pads. Fun fact: I've never played this game. I tried. I played it twice. <laughs> um, it's fun, but it's also like very much a nostalgic game, in my opinion. Um, if you're going into it cold and maybe an adult, it's a little hard to. It's like it felt much bigger when you were with a, a lot of other people who were playing it at the same time. Um, but hey, the remake. Excited for that. That might be cool. You know where he did mess me up? Um, <laughs> was, uh, was it Kingdom Hearts? Because you needed, yeah. like, you needed a special keyblade to beat him. Or, like, you could sit there and try to fight him the whole time, but it would just take forever to do that ultimate key. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Seth. Oh, it's seven o'clock. Um. Oh. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> Let's, Let's do it, buddy, while I draw this. Let's do this. I need to separate your hair into quadrants. Do you have any hair bands? I can do it without separating your hair into quadrants. It's a bit more fun. <laughs> yeah, make it as just weird <laughs> as possible. 
Ada. <laughs> I'm just do that for now. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Give a towel for your shoulders. Okay. Uh, let me... Let me... Prepare. Lucy or Alone in the chat spoil everything. Okay, cool. So, how the, how the Owl House ends is uh, everyone lives happily ever after. Everyone gets witchy powers and they save the world. They really shouldn't have left me alone here. This is actually a terrible idea. <laughs> um, I, guys, yeah, I'm not good at entertaining. No spoilers. No, no, I, I, I did tell the spoiler though. You did? Yeah. What? Did... Everyone lives happily ever after. I hate yeah. that phrase. The big. After the I, big wedding. I... <laughs> <laughs> the dance party, and there's music and colors and there's... like a dancing montage. There's a dancing montage. Mm. There's a mm. graduation scene where everyone throws their caps. Uh, uh, the world explodes. Uh, if we could, I would have a September by Earth, Wind, and Fire playing at some point. It's a great ending to, <laughs> end to everything. Okay, you ready? None of that is count. Um, red. That is a bright red. Put it up to the camera. We're doing red. We're doing red. <laughs> because I want to see red. I kind of want to. It's like the same color as the apple. We're going to do this the improper way, because I don't have a brush, and Dana doesn't have any sort of hair ties to separate her hair and the quadrants. There were supposed to be gloves in here. What is your select tool? Is it M? They're not gloves. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. That's what I do. Oh, yeah. Gloves. Um, I have gloves, but it is in such a difficult spot. Um, oh, Louis, why did you erase all that? It was beautiful. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do the head. Wait okay. a minute. Wait a minute. It should come with gloves. Oh, my God. The gloves are baked into the instructions. <laughs> yeah, that's... Look at these beautiful hands. <laughs> that's so weird. Okay. I told you we were going full hot topic. We're going full hot topic. Do I have to this out or what? Oh, here they come. I've been so long since I've dried my hair. I can't imagine. I'm done. Actually, as long as I've done my hair. Thank you, quarantine. Are you ready for me to touch every hair on your head? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get just a little closer to the chat so we can still see what's going on. Um, is there any possibility for the Owl House, uh, for Owl House Funko Pops? Man, that would be cool, right? Uh, you know what instructions are for? Nerds. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. This is your hair. <laughs> it's okay. I, okay. I've dyed my hair weirder things. Um, possibility for Owl House Funko Pops. I would love for there to be Owl House Funko Pops. Um, I don't think that's something that the studio works on with, um, with that. I think it's just like a demand thing. So, hey, if you're interested in that, uh, hit up Funko Pop and, and let them know that you want to see some Owl House characters. That'd be cool. If they made Castlevania ones, I feel like the capacity to make Owl House ones is pretty high. They made Castlevania ones? Yeah, they did. Cool. I cannot get my thumb in this glove. How are you you gotta, you gotta work Got it. it. There you go. I believe in you. Let's see. Oh, I, ooh, this is a good question. I think um, I need to cut this off. I know I said instructions are sure for nerds, but I'm going to read the instructions. Okay, <laughs> I'm really glad you're reading the instructions. Okay, question. Um, did any of the characters change after their VAs got hired or have any impact on them at all? I, I feel like almost every character of almost any show is directly affected by their voice actors. Like, dep it depends on the show, depends on the character, but like... <sighs> There are some actors that are just so, actors and actresses that are so fun to work with and have, bring such a unique flavor to the character that you start writing lines in their voices. Like, like, uh, Wendy Malick, she's incredible. And there are certain lines that I specifically try to write with, I mean, I try to write every line with her voice in mind. 
but it, it absolutely changes the way I write stuff. Um, oh same with Alex. Alex likes to improv a lot in the booth when he does King and Hootie. Um, so that, like, when I write lines for him, I try to leave some room for interpretation because that's just what is so fun about that stuff. Um, what does this sword look like? Is this sir, sword curry? Sorry, I can't recall. What do you figure deep reconstructor nope. is for? I don't know. Can I see? Is, are you bleaching it at all or no? This is supposed to be a bleach free dye. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, uh, this, is, this is for washing it out. Con conditioner. Yeah, it's like conditioner. I love the conditioner that hair dye brings. It's so moisturizing. I don't think I... I so, love it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. Okay. Yes! <laughs> it's so good for curly. I love it. Um, <sighs> someone says I'm going to look like Tiny Nose. I mean, Tiny mm. Nose is, is me. She's beautiful. <laughs> so yeah. Also, yeah, my hair um, used to be redder. This is my natural hair color. <sighs> this is mine, right? Yes. Put it over here where I can't touch it after this. Did you just change the whole drawing? I did. I did. I drew some things over just because I'm just... Shit. What is the... Perfectionist. Oh, thank God. Cool. Okay. You just keep doing your thing and I'm going to do this thing. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to hang out here and I'm going to do this because you guys can't obviously draw yet. It's After true. this, I I am going to uh, reveal the Grom photo, and then we should do another spin. Already ruined the towel. That's okay. <laughs> this is a this towel is made to be messed up. Oh, his shirt is like wide open. There's like hex in there. Do your best. Yeah, I guess. I... <laughs> ten thousand dollars. We're at ten thousand five hundred dollars. That's incredible. You guys are amazing. So amazing. There's nothing more terrifying than young people voting. <laughs> nothing nothing more terrifying to uh, certain people. To fascists. To fascists. To fascists. You matter, guys. Your voices matter. You do. Your vo voices voices matter. And yeah. vo voting is a way to, uh, to get your voices heard. Um, and to get actual things done, like mm -hmm. trying to get more involved in like local stuff, grassroots stuff, is what helps you get better candidates in the future for big mm -hmm. things like presidential elections, senate elections. Um, Make sure to tell me if I'm pulling your hair too hard or something. Well, so like, You're good. I feel like uh, people get really overwhelmed with politics because it's, it's such a, such good a big idea. level. And it's so much information. But honestly, building the habit now of being part of the conversation will make it easier for when you're older or 30. Because it's part of our social contract as members of the society to, to vote. So I can just kind of like reach out and get this die off your ear. Huh? If it wasn't, they wouldn't try so hard to suppress you. Exactly. A uh, lot of lot of emojis. What's going on? Did we did we hit something? What's happening? I don't know. What did we do? What what did we do? We'll what do happened? What's next? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I wish this stuff was around when we were growing up to know. I thought you meant hair dye. I was like, this, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but. Oh, no, no, we always <laughs> had hair dye. I remember in eighth grade, well, not eighth grade, wow. I was allowed to dye my hair for the first time. Eighth grade? No. Oh. Senior year of high school, and it was like a lighter brown. Mm -hmm. um, my form of rebellion was being 22 and dyeing my hair. Part of my hair blue and purple, mm. very little, yeah, and coming on being like, nice, huh? look what I did. You're worried about fumes, but I'm enjoying these fumes. We will open a window, <laughs> guys. Don't don't breathe in fumes. Um, I mean, we do it every day. <laughs> uh, question. Um, we'll do your roots after this. Okay. I was told that you should do roots last. So. Oh, really? That's what the gay guy on YouTube said. I'm gonna. All right. We'll, we'll leave it. If you can't listen to a gay guy on YouTube, then who can you listen to? Am I right? That's uh, true. I don't really watch anything on YouTube. Well, you would if you were dyeing Dana Terrace's hair the next day. 
<laughs> I have. I've been watching bike touring videos. But no, no, no regular like person. Wait, what? No regular person I follow on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, no. You only YouTube. follow irregular people on YouTube. I mean, that's the fun of it, right? I feel like this is Oops. as far as we're gonna get right Sorry. now. Hmm. Uh, why is Amity's nickname Mittens? That's a good one. You'll find out. Oh, what? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I literally figured it out this morning. Um, so, season two. Yay! I wish it was brighter in here. Yeah, the lighting situation isn't great. I actually just ordered a couple lamps. Ooh. <laughs> I had a bet with a friend. They claim Bill Cipher is more powerful than Hootie. Can you help settle the dispute? My money's on Hootie. My money's on Hootie, too. There's something about having a... He's chaotic, but he has a good soul. We have not seen Hootie at full power. That's... yeah. <laughs> I think they would... I personally think that they would be caught in a never-ending struggle um, against each other and destroy all of reality during such str a struggle. Should have brought a comb. You have a comb, don't you? Is that what you're about to tell me? I do, but I use it for hair oils and I don't think I want hair dye in it. Mm -hmm. No, we don't need Thank you, though. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh Thanks. my goodness. I have eraser as my right click button, and I keep clicking it, and I keep clicking on white. <laughs> I drop it white. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm working. Yeah, I think you did a great job. Ida looks great. There's some gloves for sorry. sorry. I'm actually gonna need to like keep them off. Uh, oh so you God. can't read if they're if they're off. It's true. Well, that's okay because once um. Once Luce is done, then you'll have to draw without your glasses. How about that? <laughs> Are you? Be fine. I'm near. See from near side. I'm near side. Okay. Fine. Um, but I also get to show off the Grom photo, which uh, is really cute. You good? Yeah. It looks great. I'm just walking away. Nice. <laughs> <It looks> <laughs> <really good. laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna move this. Right. Oh, I like it. this color. Oh, this nice. It looks so good without the blonde. I agree. Hey, can we turn this light on for me? Oh. It's not plugged in. Uh, Do you want me to plug it in? No, it's okay. I'll use my better judgment. Well, be careful with the lead. Okay, ground photo. Let's do this. Do it. Do, 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 do. Where is it? I'm not like destroying every follow on that head, right? Yeah, you're good. So, <laughs> call back, oh, it was amazing. <laughs> call back to the otter in Act Two. Um, this is a really cute drawing. It was drawn by uh, our character designer, Marina Gardner. And uh, it, was, it was cut for time because when you are making television for broadcast, everything has to be uh, to a certain length, and we just had one too many photos and a lot of other scenes that we needed to keep. Um, but hey, you guys still get to see this this really cute photo. Um, anyway, so it's like it never was cut. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's really cute. Amity, fully crushing. Um, loose, being loose, having a good time. Eventually, after this, she did get kicked out of the school dance for dressing like an otter. As, uh, as we all have at one point mm -hmm. or another. As we all have. Um, Brave of her to even go to the dance. <laughs> Such a, what's that mean? So brave. Um, so brave. Uh, but yeah. I don't want my apple blood. <laughs> what? Get it. Oh, is this it? I'll, it. I'll pass it. I'll oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, I was thinking some that one. I think I'm dying in your head. That's fine. <laughs> it's pretty long. You know what so. I can do? I can turn this towards you. Actually, actually, Luce, why don't we uh, spin the wheel? Oh, we word. The Where's the nice. wheel of fortune? So good. Here. Here we are. 
Welcome to Lucy's Game Show. Here we'll just spin. Let me see this. There we go. No? How does... It's okay. We'll just say what we land on. Okay. Well, it's not bad. You can see it spin with us. And... It's empty! Spin again! <laughs> It's empty! Ah! Cut to ground photo. Cut ground photo. Oh, no, we are. Already... You gotta erase it from the real list. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> two lies and a truth for season two. Got it! That's an easy one, so we'll do another spin after that. Actually, what's left? There's not much. There's not much. We, we went through this pretty quickly. Yeah. Two lies and a truth for season two. Uh, Gus has a growth spurt. Hootie finally leaves the owl house. And Camilla fully beats the crap out of someone. What's truth? What's not? <gasps> That's a like great. This. That's a great trio. I love that. I love Camilla. She's... She's a wonderful, caring mother. She she and Luce love each other. They may not always understand each other, but they deeply love each other. Yeah. I feel like that's typical mother daughter. Apparently people are doing this without getting dye in their ears. Excuse me while I get a wet. Get it on you. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to get dye in your ears. <laughs> it's fine. That's what, that's what happens with dye. It just comes it just out. Gets all over Unless you have ears. Vaseline. Do you have Vaseline? Vaseline would have been a smarter call. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm doing this. We're gonna do it. I'm doing this for America. The lighting here is very bad. <laughs> Actually, the worse it is, the funnier it is. So I'm kind of down. With we gotta that. do your roots now. Okay. Now we gotta do your roots. Uh, Luz, you might have to take over the next drawing request if that's okay. Oh sure. Oh yeah. no! You turned your head, and now it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like so much hair down here I didn't even see. Luz, can you do me a favor and yes, grab Dana's hair from the bottom and still oh, yeah. pull it out? Over the top. Oh my god, you have uh, to die in your hands. I got to die in my hands. Okay, wait, wait. I need it over the top. There we this go. Might not, this over might have been a <laughs> weird decision. Um, but okay, uh, Spencer, when you're done, me and Luce will switch seats and we will do the next random request. Give me like one second. Okay. I'm sure this is. Go. Okay, go. Musical chairs with an eight foot long hoodie prop. Not, not, not a smart move. And not. hair dye. And hair dye. Ah. I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> Guys, this room is pretty small. Okie dokes. Uh, next request. Thank God this one is fake because that would. Suck. Let me just go to the campaign page. Refresh. Stuff, huh? I mean, it's great. I'm, yeah. I'm a sucker for cranberry. You juice. made a good cocktail, my dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of this hair to dye. Because there's some, like, blonde fuzzies here. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't dye the blonde fuzzies. No, no, no. Don't. Not those. Oh. Don't, don't dye. Not those. Okay. Uh, you want me to shave them? I'll, I'll cut your hair while I'm at it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Later. Um, we'll decide that one later. Um, Rachel... Rachel E. asks uh, for the next random request. Can you draw Ghibli versions of the main cast? That's that's fun. I don't think I'm doing this the right way. Oh, oh my god, Luce twice. would so be Kiki. Right? Or that's ex <laughs> how are, How do you mind read the both of you? <laughs> the, I, I'm I trying can, to be like, clever like this. I'll do this. Like, yeah. I'm trying to think of who King would be. Well, if Luce is Kiki, then King would be... Oh! Gigi. Of course. Yeah. If we're going the Kiki route, then then Ida... Would Ida be like that artist in the forest? Yeah! yeah. Cool. Because she can't be Osano. Well, like, they didn't necessarily say Kiki's delivery service character. Right? That's true. It could be any Ghibli character. Um, I do think the overprotective dad from Ponyo is pretty funny. I like his striped suit. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, though. Um, it's for toddlers, but it's really for me. I I think it's, I think it's like, 
very mature. I mean, it's just sophisticated. Like, mm -hmm. shows and movies for children can be sophisticated and mature and still be perfectly good for children. Um, Ponyo's very sweet. God, I love the backgrounds. Oh, no, that, that movie has my favorite. That one and Only Yesterday have my favorite backgrounds. Only Yesterday is just... At least for the Ghibli movies. I've like entirely abandoned the whole quadrant thing now. I'm just kind of going at it. I appreciate that you try. It's gonna but come out like something. <laughs> I feel like you can at least feel the effort I'm putting in. Uh yes. <laughs> Someone uh, at, just asked, what's the uh, moon oracle track girl's name? The one whose head is in the shape of a crescent moon. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, I on the incidental sheet that we pass around to all the um, artists just for name or just for design tracking, she is referred to simply as Bow Girl because she wears a little bow. Um, but I, in my head, and I've never told anyone this, secretly call her uh, Celine. Um, Aww. yeah, we never, in season one, um, <laughs> no, one, no one ever, uh, hears her name, but that's kind of what I say in my head whenever she's in a scene. Um, I think it's a great name for her. Yeah, it's a cute name. Your hair just wants to go forward. <laughs> I just want to be bigger than I need to. Come on now. Stay back here. Does Count of Cagliostro, Cagliostro count as a Ghibli film? Yes. I don't... I mean, it's a Miyazaki film, but it wasn't made at oh, Ghibli. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Or Ghibli. Yeah. What do you guys pronounce it as? I, I say Ghibli. Ghibli. Ghibli? Ghibli? Ghibli. Ghibli's an old habit, so I know it's technically Ghibli, but I, I always forget. Is it? Yeah, it's, I, I think, think? It's, I think it's, it's based off of the Italian aircraft, isn't it? Like, that would stand to reason. Italy. I am going to research this afterwards. Yeah, it's a... I know there's a mega a chair or a little... Yes. Yeah. Well, of course, it's like ketchup. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful ketchup. Beautiful ketchup. Oh, I love it. Yeah. What's that deep breath for? They're just like Spencer's doing this all wrong. Oh no 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 no! I I <laughs> no, tend you to. Have it oh, it. oh, I didn't even notice I was breathing. <laughs> I think I just. I feel like most of the time you don't really notice you're breathing. Uh, <laughs> actually, one of my favorite memories in, from college, just to go back to that random question. It's like an hour ago. I know, but <laughs> but but, but it, it's it's relevant. Okay. <laughs> one of my favorite um. Memories from college is sitting in one of my figure drawing classes in junior year. Um, my teacher at the time was Stephen Gaffney, and I remember hearing him take a giant breath, just like, and then he was like, none of you were breathing, remember to breathe. <laughs> and like, I remembered that ever since, because it was true, like when I'm drawing, I tend to hold my breath and then like, I get winded and I don't know why. So uh, if you're drawing, remember to breathe. Um, He's such breathing, a great teacher. Breathing is important. Yes. Good lesson. We're gonna use all this hair dye. Every single ounce of it. Oh, Luce, that's so cute. Oh, what a good drawing. <laughs> Thank you. I just, I forget that I can zoom in. Zooming in is an option. Uh, I'm doing this. I know. Trying. I know. What? I'm trying to think of. I'm going to take a look at the incentive list because I believe we only have like two incentives that we haven't done yet. Let me just take a look. Um, we did that. We did that. Did that. Has anyone commented on my hairdressing skills yet? No. Damn. You're not even looking. I know, <laughs> but I can just tell you that now. Did that. You 
You know, I just stuck with it. I sure so oh, right. Um, you know, I I set the goal for this charity to be five thousand dollars because I, you know, generally like pretty unsure of what the turnout was going to be, like how how people would be reacting. But the fact that we passed ten thousand dollars, like wow. we're 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 getting up to eleven eleven thousand dollars, is so wow. incredible. So. Um, Thank you so much. If we hit eleven thousand dollars, we'll do the spooky, uh, the spooky secret treat. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll just do all the rest of the incentives, and the, the two left are um, uh, screenshots. Whoops. No, nope, that was me. <laughs> screenshots from the original animation test, never before seen. So like really early versions of the characters and the old backgrounds. Um, and the super special secret, which, like I said, will either excite you guys or terrify you guys, but I think it's, it's, it'll be something. Um, so let's, let's see. God, I think I'm just going to donate some money and get us there. Almost done. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's kind of a mess, but I'm like almost done. What are you looking at? No, nothing. I'm just <laughs> literally going. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually, I'm actually under the color. It's not going to be exactly like this when it comes out. That would be nice. I think I would have had to bleach my hair. Red will stay for a long time though. It's yes, that's true. I feel like red never gets out. Like once you dye your hair red, it's like it's. It usually in there. Whenever I dye my hair like orangish, it usually fades to blonde. If I don't re up it. This is this part is the trickiest. I can't wait for post quarantine to go to a salon. I'm gonna fly all the way to New York to go to the Bronx to go to the salon because <laughs> God knows you can't do it in LA. God knows. Okay, I don't remember her shoes. Who's? Uh, the artist chick. I ended up drawing Edith. Doesn't artist she? Chick. Doesn't she wear flip flops? <gasps> Beautiful. Wait, I'm going to... Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to... Sorry, 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 I'm coming back. Okay, I'm going to donate to the stream. I was going to anyway, but... How much I mean, time I already is left have. in our stream? We have a half an hour left. Wow. Yes. I know, what if I say that? It's been fun. I was enjoying this. I can zoom in. <laughs> I do wish I had better gloves. I'm glad you're. I'm just glad you're not using your. Um, my what? Your, your my claws. Your claws. Your your bear claws. Um. Permanent tie. <laughs> Is this permanent? Semi permanent. Semi permanent. Yeah. Could have been permanent. I don't trust myself that much. <laughs> Stuff is so much harsher on your skin. That's true. That's true. Okay. I would have protested. The rest we're just going to fucking go for it. Look at that ketchup head. <laughs> yeah, here we go. How long do I have to leave it in for? I don't know. I'm going to have to read the instructions when I'm done. <laughs> Guess you're a nerd. Guess I'm a nerd. Nerds are great. Being a nerd is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're nerds, you get to do stuff like this live on the air. <laughs> I never understood why nerd was a bad thing. Like, this is great. Well, now it's like in, right? Um, yeah, in the 90s, watching cartoons, nerd was a huge, like, you're a nerd, you stink. But nerds are cool. Yeah. And they don't stink. <laughs> well, this nerd smells like hair dye right now. It's a pretty good smell. It's a yeah. This I think because it's not permanent. Because or it's not permanent. Bleach. It doesn't have any bleach in it. Oh yeah. my god! We are fifty dollars away from the secret. Y'all, oh, give shit. me the secret because I don't even know what it is. I just said y'all. You did. Your George is showing. I know my George is showing. <laughs> when was the last time you were back? <laughs> um, I can remember. We're at $11,000, folks. All right. Here 
Easy now, Mad Dan. I gotta Sorry. get this hair behind your ear. Mad Dan, I haven't heard that in a while. Well, I haven't had a reason to call you that. All right, now you <laughs> stick to that all you want. We'll get to it in a sec. Eleven thousand dollars. Here's the big secret. Um, voice actor and supportive and loving boyfriend uh, Alex Hirsch is currently on call, waiting to sing and upload a video of a song of your choice. He will literally sing anything. I have an idea of, of some things that you guys might want to hear, but uh, let's let's see it in the chat. Give me your top three songs that you want to hear Hootie singing. Oh, <laughs> <you're> Alex! <laughs> and uh, I'll make a, I'll make another I'll make another poll. We can make a decision, and uh, we will um, upload that video by tomorrow afternoon. Just because if it's a song that he doesn't know off the top of his head, he'll have to figure out the lyrics. Um, Let's, let's see. <laughs> oh my god, some of these suggestions. <laughs> I kind of wish I could as howl. But that's for next time. Ooh, that's a good idea. Your hair goes so far behind your ears. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what to make of it, honestly. I mean, it's a grown-out haircut right now. It's true. Yeah. All right, so I am seeing Ordinary. Um, and Little Miss Perfect. Ah. Uh, <laughs> written by the same composers, I believe. Or same composer, I believe. Oh, wow. Is the ordinary song, does that, that has lyrics. I get, I'll, I'll look it up. Anyway, I'll, I'll put it in the poll. Um, and what else? Give me one more. Not going to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> This <laughs> is no. <laughs> we can't do that. We are we three are adults here, but this is still uh this is still hootie we're talking about. Um Are we adults? Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up with good morning, good morning to you. Alright. I'm seeing a lot of all-star. Ordinary, <gasps> Little Miss Perfect, and All Star. Oh, I hope it's All Star. Oh, I hope it's All Star. <laughs> I would literally be excited to hear any of these. So let's go on to Twitter, make this poll. Do, 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 do. Okay. I, your heart, your your hot keys are a lot of fun, Dana. I'm so sorry. It's, it's a okay. wild ride. Yeah, I'm learning so much. Oh, my back. Don't you talk to me about your back. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually been feeling okay at night. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Um, okay, we got Little Miss Perfect by... Oh, okay, Little Miss Perfect and Ordinary are both by... Let's do see this. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. It's okay, I got it. Oh, why did I do that? Here. Oh. Ooh, it's getting, it's getting mm. real watery up there. Um, Little Miss Perfect and Ordinary are both by uh, Jariah Kwame. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I, I, I have listened to it. They're very lovely songs, and I'm glad that you guys are... Uh, um, that you guys are just like how how much it's making you connect to the characters. It's it's lovely. Um, I haven't heard ordinary yet. I'm sure it's great, but okay. Pull pull pull. It's perfect. Ordinary. Um, one more. Smash them. Do you like music? Um, they're okay. I guess. Hmm. I'm like neutral to musicals. Okay. Okay. And the poll is live. Start voting. You got ten minutes. Ten. 
10 minutes. I'm or... texting Alex that uh, his, his time has come. <laughs> What a good trooper. He's great. I love him. I love him. <laughs> I really wish your hair would just go all the way up like I want it to. I don't have a clean finger. Oh no, my middle finger's clean. <laughs> Excuse me while I stroke the side of your head with my middle finger. <laughs> That's something I never thought I would hear. Uh, yep. Spencer say. And it's everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Thank you to Thank again you to our it. wonderful mod, the heartless hero. Uh, got the, got that poll. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love your stuff. Again, uh, he makes great merch over at the mm -hmm. Mystery of Gravity Falls dot com. What a talent! Oh. He's sticking back with me. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I am not getting a tattoo live on on camera. <laughs> not not yet. I've been wanting to do a stick and poke, and then I see the needle, and I'm like, "Well, I guess I'll play Minecraft." I've gotten several stick and I, you know, you guys have seen me. I'm big into tattoos. Stick and pokes are difficult. They're they're painful. That's as far as I got. <laughs> it's one single dot. So cute. Me and a couple of friends share a, a similar freckle on our fingers from pre-college at SBA. I wish I went to pre-college oh, at SBA. Can't I am so sorry. Names. I am so sorry. Uh, the Heartless Hero, uh, our wonderful mod. I, I mixed up websites. The gift shop is themysteryshack.com. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like I said, great merch. Great stuff. Just some finishing touches here, making sure I got it thoroughly through everything. I think we got some on the floor. That's okay. Uh oh. Uh, this hair down here really wants to be down here. Yeah, I'm starting to grow a mullet. That's no, fine. Do you mullet. want to shave your neck? Yeah, quarantine mullets are in right now. I do not if have. You don't think so? You're mean. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to leave these hairs undyed, and you can shave it yourself. Okay. Aww. Let's check in with the poll, see how it's doing. Ooh. Ooh, Little Miss Perfect and Smash Mouth are yes! pretty close. Little Miss Perfect is currently in the lead, but we okay. still have seven minutes left. I like that song. It's fine. It's great. Yeah, it's a good song. I've never heard this song. Loose, specific. She loves Smash Mouth. I, I do. I do. I do. I've watched a lot of dance parties at the end of movies, and they're usually, that Smash Mouth, I feel like, is usually there. Really sure. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll just have to uh, aggressively rub your skin later. <laughs> Try to get around your ears. It'll Universe, be, it'll be fine. I've, I've had, um, I've like had my hair dyed from hair color. It's, it's like what's supposed to happen. I'm like messing more up at the last second. I've been so careful this entire time. Oh my god, your hands look like a murder scene. That's because <laughs> I'm murdering your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that's probably fine. Wonderful. Uh, I'll take a photo of whatever this <clears throat> turns out to be in the future. Are you okay? Turn it oh, out. don't don't put your mouth on it, dude. Let me help. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Whoa! I got all the way in the gloves somehow. Whoa! Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Whatever song this is gonna be, it's it's gonna be weird. <laughs> five minutes left. Five minutes left for the poll. Little Miss Perfect is still at the head at fifty one point three percent. And uh, let me try to remember what that last. Oh right, the uh, animation test screenshots. After Lucy's done with this request, we will jump to that. Hmm. 
is good practice for next week. Are you coming off hiatus? Oh, that's right. I'm coming back early. Yes. Oh, I miss my kids. <laughs> Weird to see people. Oh. Being able to see how I rough things, which is really. I I feel like I draw differently when people. Look what watch I did. It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll come out. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna make much of a difference, but <laughs> make a little bit of a difference. Every little bit helps. <laughs> Just like every vote helps, especially if you are in a swing state. Check your registration, uh, tell your friends, uh, democracy is important and we have to uh, pay attention to what's going on if we want to help drive the world into a better place. California's on fire right now, my lungs are killing me. Uh, please help us vote more people into office that care about the environment. Um, mm -hmm. Especially grassroots, local stuff, that's where you build the foundations for uh, the larger branches. It's also a good place, like, because national, like, national stuff seems incredibly overwhelming. Starting Most off smaller, and local really roots hard. is a better habit. Yes. Micro-activism. You don't have to, like, save the world. It's just doing little things, like voting locally, standing up for someone you know, standing, you know. Speaking of when you need to. Yeah, if we all uh, do that collectively, it, it does make a difference. That's going to be very rude, I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what dresses look okay. like. Okay, poll, 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 poll. Let's see. Two minutes left. Looks no. like there is going to be a clear winner, but we still got two minutes. It's middle is perfect, isn't it? I, I, yeah, I, I, th I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah, which it's going to be really romantic. That's actually very really cute. Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> we Smash Mouth for King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time we do this, King will sing Smash Mouth. I think, did it, in an in a old chair, like four years ago, me and Alex did a charity stream for Planned Parenthood. I think King or, no, not King. He didn't exist yet. I think Stan might have sung Smash Mouth. No. He definitely he definitely sung a Frozen song at one point. <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> Beautiful singing voice. Oh, music to my ears. Thanks, Alex. Just my finger. <laughs> <laughs> so it's bloody. Let's see. Um. Yeah. How long? Forty-five minutes to one hour. Cool. All right. I will set the timer for myself. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, it's on my arms. Ooh. You're so bloody. This is fun. Yeah. I like, I like hanging out and drawing. All right. I think. Oh, Luce, that's so good. Thank you. I really, actually, this has been my favorite one so far. Done. Okay. Um, back. Beautiful. So, who's the next? Well, whoop. There we go. That's horrible. There we I believe we have time for one more request, which would be the, uh, the current highest bidder. Um, and, and the poll is done. Hootie will be singing Little Miss Perfect. <laughs> we will upload that video uh, sometime tomorrow. I, I will make sure to put the link in my Twitter. And, and uh, who knows what that will turn out to be. It's a beautiful song, but it is also Hootie. Um, very exciting. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Current Highest Bitter is actually a mix of bids from one person uh from gina g thank you and she requests uh i will draw loose as uh loose and amity as the uh protagonist from utena 
Yay! All right, we're done. Let's do it. Nobody touched Dana's hair. Nobody touched my hair. Uh, this is. <laughs> That's yours. Don't laugh at me. I know, I know. It just looks like a bloody head. <laughs> I'm taking the middle. I hate the left. All right, I will. Kind of like you in the middle. First. Can I get, can I get I my phone? Left. Yes. Here you go. Uh, let's see. Excuse me while I just quickly pop this bit that fell right on the front of your face. Uh, here. This wasn't here before. Okay. But now it is. Don't move. Yes, yes! A lot of yeses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's funny since, like, the stream lags a little behind, I'm just watching myself mop die off of Dana's forehead. It, it's for Dana, but I feel like that's a, that's a you question. Maybe. What you is wanna it? read it? Hey Dana, what's the most important thing in animating an action shot, like Lilith and Vita's battle? Uh, that was animated by this hero. Um, what, what are your thoughts, hero? I think for me, in an action scene, clarity is probably the thing that I consider most important. You know, you can have like a flashy looking action scene, but it doesn't mean jack squat if no one can tell what's going on. So, I'm always trying to stage things in a way where the audience will be able to understand it even if like the movements are fast. There's still some left you want it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm in a good place hair-wise right now. <laughs> so just clarity? Clarity. Staging. Staging is super important yeah. for action. You know, you, you want to be able to, like... Action's a little bit different from acting, so, like, your shot, your composition choices need to be more dynamic. You don't just want to, like, show two characters flat on. Like, that sort of thing can be a better choice for acting when you need expressions to read, but for action, if you want stuff to be dynamic, you kind of got to play around a little. You know, like, be loose and flexible to be clear. I guess that's my best advice. Beautiful. I've always had trouble with action scenes. Um, something I really want to get better at. She's actually really good at them. I, I don't think I've ever oh, done an action scene. Thank you. Um, did you have dye on your hands? I did. I touched it. A couple times. <laughs> we yeah. all have dye on our hands. Um, I just like when action scenes flow. This one's new. It is new. It is new. Um, oh, you know what? There's a towel right here. I can just... There we go. Beautiful. Let's get yours. I'll give, I'll give Amity a long hair. Long and kind of hair. Oh, yeah. Oh. Crazy crown. Boom. <laughs> what? Sorry. I, 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 like I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Wow. Looking good. I like how you guys are just like emoting. <laughs> yeah. That's what this oh, where did this one come from? Wow, I think it's from the I think it's from the towel. From the towel? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do that one. Dana did that to herself. It's fine. <laughs> I've only got 10 minutes left, huh? Oh my god, okay, okay. Mm. Um, will I be able to finish this request in time? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That is a long question. It is a very long question. Is it like in parts? It's really the, the Japanese uh, working in American animation thing. Hmm. It's, it's such a big topic with so many It is such a big topic. And we're kind of in a brave new world with this sort of thing. Like, we've only just started to see a lot of people moving through this, uh, 
membrane, this animation yeah. membrane. Like, Especially with quarantine now. Yeah. That's been the only plus is like giving everybody a fair shot and possibly paying for like. Is there any specific pay. industries in Japan that are working with American industries? And is the Japanese industry harder slash more competitive than America? I would feel like it'd be more competitive. I don't know about competitive because I'm not there. That's you know, true. I'm not exactly yeah. the expert on the Japanese animation industry. It's definitely harsher. That's what I would imagine. The the working conditions are harder. You get paid less, and um, I feel like it's a pretty quick way to uh, burning out. Yeah, those they deserve better. They do. They're working crazy hours. <gasps> Specific industries in Japan that are working with American industries. I know Science Saru does work with American artists, but I don't know about the other way around. I personally don't know of any. But I also don't know there for won't it. be. Yeah, no, no, no. I think I, I think in the future that bridge will become more steady. I think I could make a whole YouTube video about this. Yeah. <laughs> Which you could. If you were interested. I'm sorry I don't have a better answer for that question. It's so much of it is uncertain right now. I think we will see more Japanese artists working in the American industry as we go forward. I feel like that's inevitable, but I don't really have any real advice other than make yourself as visible as possible, you know? Post yeah. your work on the internet, otherwise no one will ever see it. Um, a lot of companies hire through Twitter now, which is interesting. That's not the way it used to be done, but um, now yeah, social media are. is kind of everything. I was hired on Gravity Falls through Tumblr. Yeah. I was hired on Castlevania through Tumblr. I'm sure if I was, um... Yeah, say something about social media, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. My friend sent me what he wrote as a request in the group. Uh, but we will not be doing that. <laughs> a diagram of Luz Batista's elaborate meat-scorching setup in her bedroom. <laughs> No, Diego. I will not. <laughs> some, some sort of inside joke. Yes. Yes. Can I share? I'm going to share. Share? No, wait, no, no. I'll keep this secret for myself. <laughs> um, uh, if you want to answer it, then you have to read the question. I d I, 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 that's I, another I, tough one, though. That's a tough one, because I'm immediately like... Rebel. <laughs> I can't say that. No, let's, let's move on. You guys, you can't. Sorry. Can't <laughs> Sorry. Can't it's like killing people. I know, I know, I know, I know. Fuck. Sorry, there's so many questions. I am going to always push for yes, well. follow your hearts. I'm all about personal autonomy. Well, that just brings up more questions. No, if you want to be an artist, go be an artist. That's what I'm saying. We here right. on the Owl House support free thinking. Yeah. If you want to do something, please, by all means, if it's not hurting anybody or hurting yourself, I don't see why being an artist would, would be a bad thing. And even if Oh, being an artist is great. Yeah. You get to express yourself. You get to use your work to um, uh, make cool worlds. It's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's hard. It's it hard, hard. It takes a lot of years of practice to uh, become a professional, but... Um, I, I love my job. Yeah. This is also, I'm also speaking from a place of, I was very supported growing up for my artistic endeavors. My parents wanted me to be an engineer. Uh, but apparently my dad asked a friend of his one time, like, hey, my son is skipping a bunch of school and going to the art room, what should I do? And his friend was like, don't do anything about it. Just let him skip class and go to the art room. But, like, that is a very lucky scenario. It's a very lucky <laughs> scenario. My also, dad listened to this guy. Mm -hmm. And so I kept doing it. But, uh... What a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. And let's say you can't go be an artist right away after moving out or living with your parents. No one can take drawing away from you. Like... I mean, I had a couple teachers in middle school who would literally rip sketchbooks out of my hand. And then people ask me, Dana, how did you end up with over 50 detentions in middle school? It's like, I made them pay. <laughs> Guys, don't make your... Don't go to detention. <laughs> don't, <make them> <laughs> don't 
don't make your teachers life hell. The, the teachers are uh, underpaid oh. and they deserve more. Uh, but in this particular case, mm, mm. was a bit of a troublemaker. The hair dye is I absolutely made with magic from the Boiling Isles, yes. Um, we have, I love that you were so rebellious against adults when you were younger. That's so... I wasn't always in the right. No, of course. <laughs> like, we're kids. We don't know what we're doing most of the time. Um, but I, lo I love... <laughs> Just because I wished to rebel so hard when I was younger. We all have that in us. I think getting in trouble just made me want to do it more um, for reasons, I don't know, um, I was just looking for a way to uh, express myself. <laughs> I'm not telling. <laughs> You guys are doing it. Again. I know. I know. This chat is really fun. We should probably thank you for for really this just chat. Keep talking the entire yeah, time. let's just keep talking. Um, so what I'm hearing is, um, who's your favorite character on the Owl House? Is that a question? I yeah, that was a question. Time. That was a question. My favorite character hasn't been revealed yet. Oh, <laughs> one of mine is the same. Hasn't been revealed yet. I love them. One of mine also hasn't been revealed yet. So Are we all talking about the yeah, same? Yeah, we're all talking about the same character. I think, but there's several characters on that. But uh, I love Willow. Ida is at the top for me. Ida's an extremely fun character to write. Hearing when working with Wendy and, and hearing her just like absolutely uh, just demolish her lines in a good way, in the best mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Uh, is uh, Ida's up there for sure. She's the hardest oh, yeah. to draw. She is hard. To draw. She's the hardest <laughs> to draw, but she is one of the coolest. Like you don't get a lot of older female characters being a badass, and and being not unapologetic about it too. Be like, yeah, I'm a badass. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have a story of um, when my dad was a kid. You know, he was born in the. He was born in the 60s, um, passed away now, but he had a grandmother who would consistently uh, kind of um, take him and his younger brother out of school to go fishing, and then she'd like cook a bunch of like crazy Italian food for the neighborhood, and she was uh, very unapologetic about the way she acted, and she was all about having fun and spending a, like time with her family and causing a little bit of trouble, but always for the uh, well-being of her grandkids, and um, I love that story, and I wish I got to meet her, but she'd be extremely old. Um, we're almost sweet. coming to the end of the stream. I'm going to do my best to finish this drawing up. Oh, man, we have one minute. Yeah, this is really one minute. Can I finish this in one you minute? I might need to. Yeah. Why don't you? Uh, dude, advice for burnout? Take breaks. You yeah. I, honestly, productivity, while it is like a very cat capitalistic thought, you don't have to be on 100% of the time. Sometimes the best thing you can do is watch a movie and absorb what you're watching. Sometimes taking a, a break off of your wrist, um, reminding yourself why you like this is a good uh, defeat of a burnout. I burned out a couple times and it's always a, I will not be drawing this week. Or today, and I'm going to sit and rest my rep, my wrist and watch something I enjoy, or do something that I enjoy, so that I can come back with a with a full tank to approach what I'm doing. Um, I think it's really unfair to assume that you're going to be nonstop all the time. That's ridiculous. It's impossible. Yeah. I'm just um, it. It's burn, moving real fast. Burnout. Um... I always, even if I'm under the craziest deadline, I always, always, always take Friday and Saturday off. Um, as a showrunner, I do tend to work Sundays, but I do get paid for that time, and I make sure of it. Um, 
if I, before I was a showrunner, I would, you know, my weekends were free and I, I wouldn't do more than what was needed. I would do my best to end things at 6 p.m. unless I'm being paid for overtime. Uh, and even then, there are just some daily things that I try to do. Um, I used to ride my bike a lot. I used to read a lot. Now, like, quarantine stuff is makes it a little harder to rest, but I'm doing my best. Personally, I stand up once an hour. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, just, like, yeah. physically. Yeah. Just physically stand up once an hour. It doesn't have to be for anything in particular, but, like, I'll stand up and walk around, get coffee, mm -hmm. bother loose. Yes. <laughs> Bother Dana. Please. Over and over again. I love when people come to the queue and be like, hi, I'm taking a break. Like, good. <laughs> I can take a break. I miss people climbing over my queue. We're talking about the animation test. Do you still want to show screenshots from that? Yes, I will do that in a sec. Dana will show the screenshots yeah. when she finishes her lovely drawing. And, ooh, ruffles are hard. I can never figure out how to draw ruffles. There's a science behind them, and I do not know that science. I know that science. You're, you know the science of it. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm a scientist. I keep seeing so many questions about how do I get good? You just keep practicing. You have the rest of your life. It's a lifelong journey. For real, man. And I know too many of my friends who are like, oh my god, my career is over. I'm like, you're 21 years old. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I just, I just got into art school when I was 21. Yeah, do you know where I was at 21 years old? Where were you? I was working nights. <laughs> Where were My you only friend nights? was the gas station attendant. Ooh. His name was Dante. Was it a Q was it a QT? It, it was a it was a quick trip. <laughs> yeah. I got really into scratch lotto and I sampled every single type of beef jerky you can buy at a gas station. Spoiler alert, old trapper is the best friend. Done. Yeah. Done with this request. Alright. Now the final Ooh, we still got that up. So uh, we have friends, everybody's friends with Hootie. So when you are making a pilot that's not aired, they do have you do a couple animation tests that are um, will never be shown publicly, but uh, <laughs> I, I can't show you the full thing. Um, but here's a couple old screenshots. Um, whoops. There we go. So it's really short. It's it, the the thing is really short. The uh, designs we did, a lot of them crossed over into the final um, show. Like Ida basically looks the same. Willow basically looks the same. But Luz has a different shirt. Luz has a different yeah, shirt. Yeah, she does. I just noticed that the stripes. Um, and King used to be blonde and have more of a deer tail uh, until one of our freelancers gave him a like fluffier wolf tail thing going on, and I just fell in love with that. Um, Robert Ryan Corey came up with that idea. He's amazing. He's great. Uh, but the background style was very different. Um, Ricky Cometa, our art director, art directed this. This was him playing around with what the backgrounds could be. Um, Ricky Minaj. Ricky Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up changing it to the way it is now because while this is like pretty and beautiful, it's also really difficult to... Um, it's difficult to put into a pipeline and, and te like tell it like this very specific lineless style is just a little more difficult to do. And we wanted to make this um, kind of more manageable for our layout artists. And the, I mean, our art direction now, God, our show is so pretty. It's all mm -hmm. thanks to Ricky and the designers. So yeah. pretty. Um, but hey, we're at 8.05. Hey. Ricky Minaj. Hey. Ricky Minaj. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not. I'm not sorry about Ricky Minaj. <laughs> He's amazing. Folks, we are at the end of our stream. It is 8 o'clock. We got through all our incentives, which I didn't think would happen, but it did. Um, I'll take a picture of my wild hair tomorrow. Uh, Alex will be um, uh, uh, practicing and singing Little Miss Perfect for you guys. We will update, well, we will upload that video sometime tomorrow. Little Miss Perfect. Little Miss Hootie. Um... Little hoot perfect. Keep going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. This was a thank pleasure. You, thank you. Thank you for donating. Um, and just thank you for all being rock stars and supporting the show and supporting us as, as artists. Uh, Y'all are great. Can't mm -hmm. wait for season two. There's no date yet. Can't wait for it to go on Disney+. Plus. 
I'll update you when I'm allowed to share that information, but it's coming soon. And uh, love you guys. Good night. Good night. Register to vote. Uh, Register to vote. Register to vote. Also. How do I end this? Oh my god, okay, now you guys are going to see us fumble for a second. Okay, everybody watch us fumble. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>